So, you're finally awake. <laughs> that was an experience. You were trying to cross the border, right? When we were, uh, we ran into that Imperial ambush. Yeah, that's how they get you. Oh, you're from Roikstead? Cool, cool. I need to detox, you guys. Um, just, you guys know, you know? You guys know what I'm, you guys know, right? Like, you know, right? Like, we don't have to communicate this, right? Like, you guys know, right? You, you know what I mean? You guys know? Because I can't say it, but you can say it, right? You know? Mm hmm. Sometimes, you know, it is what it is. I need to take a walk real quick. I'm gonna use the bathroom and grab water and I'll be back, okay? This is my Iron Man that I just started recently. Um, that really took it out of me. I need to go splash water on my face, I'll be right back. I'm just grabbing water, hold on. Nothing depletes my mana quite like, you know, you know. Mm 
no WoW. I mean, I guess I have some stuff I could do on WoW, but it would just be walking around. Actually, yeah, fuck it, let's do that. I got some stuff I can do on WoW. If I speak, I'm doomed, you know what I mean? I earned, I earned, I, I earned that, you know what I mean? I had to work for that, 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 those two hours, I was on the clock, I was working. You feel me? That was, that was harder than like any manual labor. New stream? Dude, I don't even wanna risk it, but you guys know. That was difficult. What that was, I'm not gonna specify. I'm thinking of something that I did earlier and it was difficult. You've got mail. <laughs> what an ominous sub. Hey Catatonic, thank you. How the fuck? I. D if I speak, I'm doomed. You know? I've got a lot to say. I've got a lot to say. <laughs> I've got a lot to say. <laughs> One sec. I'm just uh, sending a couple DMs to my managers just to just to check something, right? Just to check something. Something earlier, you guys don't know. You want you had to be there. Um, I'm gonna fly around and just do the midsummer uh shit. That's what we'll do here. Wow, look, this game is like pure 60 frames, no drops by the way. I just can't believe it. Oh, I turned off my um I turned off my auto quest. Oh, well that was easy. Have I done all the extinguish? Because I think I did half of this achievement last year and then just didn't do the rest. <laughs> I need to go to Terracar Forest. Oh, I'm in Terracar Forest. <sighs> yeah, I need to kill a Hoon. I think I can solo him. So that should be fun. No, I'm not gonna get Strange Trip because I didn't play the game. I went like hella AFK during Noble Garden and Children's Week. I just didn't do it. He's level 80? <laughs> For what? For what? So I can't just walk in and fucking dink him? I wonder if there's like a, a group going. I'm the only one looking. It's nearly midnight server time.
I would love to discuss the game we just played a little more. But I really shouldn't, and so I'm not going to. But I think you guys know. I think you guys know. I am, like... Dude, I'm speechless. I'm I'm so speechless. This is gonna take me a little while to get over. <laughs> Let's just say it's so fortunate that I don't usually stream with a webcam on because my face would be telling no lies. Do you know what I am saying? You haven't the faintest clue? No worries. You just popped in? That's great. That is so great that you're, you're here just now. Whew. The bug doesn't fly. Of course it doesn't fucking fly. No one cares about classic. They barely care about retail. Oh, I love talking shit about games. <laughs> Mm, I feel so free. I can talk shit about WoW. Dude, so cool. This game that I'm playing right now is so fucking bad, dude. What the fuck? I get paid to play this? What's the catch? <laughs> Do you know what I am saying, gamers? <laughs> Nothing drains my mana like not being able to say what I want to say. Nothing. Dude, my favorite part about World of Warcraft, I'm talking about World of Warcraft, is that there's no gameplay, and you just click through, and and it's a fever dream, and it makes you feel like you're on drugs, but you're not because you've been sober for like a week. Are you picking up what I'm putting down? <laughs> Hold on a sec, I gotta disable a certain night bot timer. <sighs> Guys. All I can say is, my apologies, summoners. Because the last time I played... World of Warcraft. Um, it wasn't like that. It was a completely different game. I don't know what the fuck that was. I was like, cool, dude. Yeah, I'll play World of Warcraft. I know all about World of Warcraft. You know? I was like, no problem. Did you? If you guys enjoyed it, that's great. That is all I can hope for. Please, and I'm, this is not even a meme. Put one in chat if you enjoyed that segment and it was funny for you. Because that's all I care about.
Yeah, Blizz is like, what'd she say fuck me for? Okay, well, at least it was, like, entertaining, I guess. I am not joking. It was not hyperbole when I'm saying, like, I feel like I'm, a dream I'm in a dream. I feel like I'm going to throw up. All those things were real. I'm going the wrong way. No, my mana is slowly regening. It's just playing fun games. Do you know what I'm saying? Playing fun games really takes it out of me. Especially when you know that you're like, you have to play it because you know, like, Fuck, dude. What happened? Don't worry about it. Just don't worry about it. Certain things you just have to be there for. And you weren't there. You didn't... Mm, I was going to say the word suffer. That was rough. Why did the game run at like 10 FPS on low? I just can't imagine. I can't imagine. There were times in those cutscenes where my character's legs were fully pixelated, like, like it was pixel art. I'm winking. I'm winking right now, bird. I'm winking. Oh, I've heard about this. No, um, people are saying that like some of the weak horror packs I'm making frame rate go bad in uh, TOGC, but not me. So I got nothing to tell you. Oh yeah, shit! I need to, uh, I need to delete something from one of my uh, folders real quick. Nothing that you would know about. Okay, uh, let me just delete that. Let me just clear up sixty gigabytes from so it's something I did earlier. Okay, it's deleted. Hey, what's in those folders? <laughs> that was fucked up. Let's take a flight path. No, I didn't delete any footage, but I'm gonna double check. Let me open my recycle bin. No, it it was definitely um it's definitely something else. I'll just delete I'll just delete everything in here. Damn, I had two hundred gigabytes just sitting in my recycle bin. Let me just delete all this shit. There's no scarab lord. Could you imagine trying to do scarab lord on hardcore? It just it's not possible. It would be so swag, but it's so impossible. And you are... I would have to have, like, I would have to have so many people. And the only reason I got Scarab Lord in the first place was because I was in a guild where, like, 
the goal from the very start was like, let's get as many Scarab Lords as possible. It wasn't because people gave a fuck about me. They gave a fuck about the rep and like doing something big. I don't have the people to do it a second time who would give a fuck to the degree that I would need them to give a fuck. It's not possible. I think someone like Asmongold could do it. He has the, he has the lackeys required, I suspect. Is this compatible with Google Sheets? <sighs> no, see, it's not possible. Like, you would have to be in... I would have to be in stealth for, like, so many of the things. And then everyone else is risking their hardcore status. It just, it doesn't make sense. It's not possible. There's the funny brain again. Nah, because my brain's not putting me to it because I already know. I already know what I would need to overcome it and it's not feasible. I would need like 50 people probably who are, who are level 60 on hardcore who are ready to just throw it all away for me, and I'm not gonna pay them, I'm not gonna do anything, it would be purely for exposure, you know what I mean, like... And they would all have to be good players, to the point where they're not gonna die in a raid. And like the moment people find out that someone is trying to do hardcore Scarab Lord, the amount of griefers. It would be so different if the server existed where you die, you, lo you get logged out and you can't log on that server anymore. That should be how it works, right? And also I've already done it, you know? It wouldn't be... It would be like so. It would be like this making the same video again. I don't want to do it again. <laughs> what do I want to do? I want to fucking quit. No, I'm joking. Um. I just want like a million bucks. Just give me a million bucks, please. Like I deserve it, come on. I've had enough. I'm ready to tap out. You know what I mean? I'm not built for labor. It's popping. <laughs> Catatonic, thanks for 10 gifted. <laughs> That's almost a million bucks. Yeah, it's like, we're getting close. We're getting close, huh? Dude, I beat Tears of the Kingdom, and now that I've let, I've let Tears of the Kingdom, you know, uh, so here's the thing, when you're playing a game, you're under its spell. So any way you feel whilst playing a game is not really real. 
you have to wait until you've like fully beat it and then you can take take it all into account and um breath of the wild 2 tis the kingdom was mid as fuck it's actually outrageous I would say it was worse than Breath of the Wild. Because <laughs> it's the same map, but there's nothing in it. There's nothing to do. And what little there is to do, there's no reward for doing it. It's so aimless, all of it. And I, I beat it 100%. Building stuff is fun, don't get me wrong, but the game actively works against you trying to have fun within it. It, the game gives you a battery so that you can run machines, but then every machine has an internal cooldown anyway. So the battery life doesn't matter. Everything runs out. They... The story... They cowered it out at the last minute. They almost did something cool. They killed Zelda! But then they brought her back at the end, and for what? It was almost so sick. I must have put like 60 to 100 hours in Breath of the Wild. The shrines. Why the fuck did they do shrines again? They're all so boring again. I love talking shit about games. Why did they do that again? It was so boring. Unironically, the best part of Tears of the Kingdom is the opening zone. Man. Yeah, it was a disappointment overall, I would say. The underground zone is so bad. There's nothing in it apart from fan service items, which I love, but like, there's no point to it. And it's just a mirror of the overworld. It's the exact same terrain structure. Where did all the development time go? <laughs> The highlight of Breath of the Wild is the opening zone as well. Like, the whole game is just nothing compared to those opening zones when you have, like, limited tools. And it's like a handcrafted kind of, not linear experience, but you know what I mean? Like, I don't know, dude, this open world Zelda shit, it just doesn't work. Or maybe it could work, but they're, they're too, they're too, uh, they won't commit to, like, fun. Man. Yeah, that shit bummed me out. And they didn't even add an option, like, okay, this time around, the weapons breaking had a reason, right? Because you can, like, craft stuff together and it, it's whatever. That's a cool idea. I didn't even dislike that. But the fact that when you get to, like, end game and there's no way to, like, 
make your weapons not break? Like, there are certain weapons that I just want to fucking use. Like, you've given me the hero sword from Zelda 1. It breaks in five hits. I kill one enemy, and then that's my, like, you know, I, I want to use this weapon specifically for a little bit. Bruh. Oh, where am I going? I'm going this way. That's why you cheated? Yeah, when I got about 50 hours in the game, I just started duplicating all my items because I was like, fuck this. No, that blimp was the one I was trying to catch. And all the reviews are like, nine out of 10, amazing game. No, dude, no one cares about video games anymore. No one, no one thinks critically about this stuff. No one cares. I feel like good games don't exist anymore, apart from indie games. I've felt like this for a really long time. I hate open world. I'm so sick of it. <laughs> Elden Ring? I want to play more Elden Ring, but it's too big and it's so full of nothing. And like starting a new character is so boring because it's like, you have to run around getting all this stuff. Fuck, dude, I just want to play the game. modded Breath of the Wild is super fun. No, it's not. You're coping because all there is to do, okay, is fucking shrines and they're all easy and boring. Okay, I didn't struggle with one shrine in Tis the Kingdom and the only shrine I struggled in Breath of the Wild the first time was, you know, that constellation shrine. But even then it was like a five minute head scratch and I go, oh, you just count the fucking constellation. It's so boring. Ocarina of Time is, and I mean this, like truly, earnestly, Ocarina of Time takes a doo-doo shit on Breath of the Wild and Tears the Kingdom and it's not close. It's not close at all. You know what? I'm gonna say it and you guys know how I feel about Skyrim. Skyrim is better than Tears the Kingdom. I, I said it. And it, it hurts me to say it. Because at least in Skyrim, at the very least in Skyrim, when you're doing these worthless dungeons, you're probably going to get something. There are real quest lines. It's not just go and get me... Go and get me something and I'm going to reward you with something that is five times worse than what you just gave up. And then I was like, I was thinking to myself, 
I got to the water temple. That was the first temple I did, the water temple. And when I loaded into the water temple, I thought, holy fuck, this game has real dungeons. It has a real temple. The water temple was just four of the same shrines that I'd already done, but now they're in the temple. And some of you can be like, every shrine is a lesson though. The shrines exist to teach you game mechanics and then you go and use them in the real world. But no, they were the, the exact same puzzles that I've already done. Go and do four shrine puzzles in a temple. That's the water temple. It was just so... I don't get it. I just don't get it. I think... I think open world... <sighs> Nintendo across time have managed to produce breathtaking, incredible games because there are limitations, right? But now that technology is so good and there's not really that many limitations, so you can just kind of do everything you want, nothing gets done. It's just, yeah, it was just depressing. Like. And the problem is, like, the game is so, the game is so tight. You know what I mean? Like, actually controlling Link, it feels so good. And the game looks, I like the art style, but then it, like, runs at, like, 25 frames, and it's like. I don't know. It's just so crazy. Open world needs to die. I'm so sick of it. Tears of the Kingdom was another one of those games that tricks you into thinking it's a good game until you've really digested it and thought about it. And the Koroks, and oh my god, some of the Koroks are even in the same place. And I don't even think the problem is that like Link can climb. I think that is so sick and I think it's balanceable, but I don't think the game suits open. I just don't think the formula works in open world. Final boss fight was peak. The final boss fight blew ass apart from, okay, so here's the thing, right? 1v1 in Ganon was cool. Uh, he does blade flurry. That was cool. He does flurry rush. That was sick. Um, but the bit before where you're just killing ads, that shit sucks. Uh, the ending was grandiose, though. The ending was not bad. Like, Breath of the Wild's ending was bad. It really did feel like a final boss. It just still sucked. You know what I mean? It was still like, oh, cool. But it still sucked. And even the temple bosses get copy-pasted in the underground. It's just such a stupid game. I liked the spectacle. I liked 1v1 in Ganondorf, because that's always sick. It's always just so cool to 1v1 Ganondorf. And I did like the concept of him going crazy, turning into a dragon, and then it's like, you know, you're on the dragons. That was cool. It was cool. I don't know if I thought it was fun, though, to do that, because it was like, I don't know. It was just the Wind Temple boss, but skinned as Ganondorf, you know what I mean? Or, you know, Dragondorf. Uh, and yeah, and they brought Zelda back, and she just should have fucking died. She just should have stayed dead. That was... 
when when they reveal in the game that like Zelda's fucking oh that dragon that you keep seeing that's Zelda she's fucking killed herself and she's a dragon now that was like whoa that was like a stunning moment and I was like I was like shocked and I was like damn that is so brave to kill the main character of the series in a way that cannot be undone and then they just undid it at the end for what for what Gotta have a happy ending. You can have a happy ending. The game went against its message. It really pissed me off. Zelda co Zelda coming back at the end ruins the whole story. Cause it was fun, like, do you know what I mean? Like, it completely nullifies her sacrifice. It's so dog shit. And it was such a like, uh, deus ex machina to bring her back too. It should have been like, damn, even though Zelda's gone forever, we can move forward. Because the whole story, even in Breath of the Wild, the, <clears throat> the main themes of Zelda forever are the flow of time is always cruel. And you have to move on. You can't get those years back. You have to move on. And if you try to go back and change it, Majora's Mask happens. You don't get your happy ending in Zelda. That's the point. It's all about self-sacrifice. It's about giving up your best years, knowing no one will know it was you. She sucks. <laughs> yeah, we're still talking about Tears of the Kingdom. The more I start verbalizing this, because I haven't talked about this with anyone, because my friends don't give a fuck about Zelda. So I've had no one to talk about this with. And, like, I don't think, you know, the game hasn't got any re real reviews yet. Like, I'm not talking about, like, IGN. Those people are fucking poser bitches who don't... They couldn't dissect a game's meanings and subtext if they were paid to do it. And they are! Media illiteracy is a cancer. Oh my god. And every time you beat a temple, it played a cutscene. And I was like, oh cool, more lore. But it's the same cutscene every time. Did anyone else notice that? What the fuck was that? Let me tell you about the ceiling war. Dude, I've seen this episode. I want to kill myself. I hate open worlds so much. Please give me good games. There's no Kakariko theme in Tis the Kingdom, dude. <laughs> Thank you. 
And no Triforce? No mention of the Triforce at all? Just these chicken, chicken dippers? You've, you've removed the Triforce in lieu of chicken nugget with the mayo? Link, open your eyes. You're in a shit game, Link. Open your eyes. Nah, bitch, I'm trying to stay asleep. Open your eyes. Video of Tears of the Kingdom. I'm still gonna go Tears of the Kingdom on that one. Oh, YouTube. Um... I'm trying to think what... Uh, I don't know, dude. I think... I'm not, I haven't fully fleshed out this thought, but I think the glider shouldn't exist. I think a lot of the design problems come from the glider. I think the game is at its best when you don't have access to it. And I think the glider is so cool, but I really think it ruins the game. How though? Because the best moment in Breath of the Wild is everything up until you get the glider. And then the same is in Tears of the Kingdom. Now, if it was like a different kind of glider where it had its, its own set meter that cannot be abused, you can't eat any food to give yourself more meter. But I think the design really starts to break apart at the seams when... The, the devs don't have the intellect to be able to design around the fact that you can just fly over everything. Because, like, you have, a, you have unlimited stamina in the game. Like, if you have a brain, you have unlimited stamina. I don't know what to tell you. It's like the pro oh, but the thing is like the game is like f do you know what I mean like the game feels good to play it but there's nothing in it there's nothing to do when I was doing that first stream of Tis the Kingdom and I realized there were shrines. I didn't express it at the time because I was, you know, not trying to get bummed out, but I was so unbelievably disappointed. Fuck off, do you know who I am? I'm getting, I'm getting gear score checked for a hoon. What? 
You're G checking me for a hoon? I can't believe this. I'm speechless. I'm fucking take- I've taken real life damage. I- I'm being G-checked for a holiday boss. I- <laughs> I- I just can't believe it. That's like a real stun. I'm stun locked. That's really bothered me. <laughs> Who is this bitch? Yeah, I just got kidney shot in real life. You know, I just got kidney shot. What do I do? Still no invite? I wouldn't accept it. I'm gonna link my Scarab Law achievement. <laughs> Pussy -o. I'm the main character of the server. I just got G-checked for a hoon. I need to print screen this. That is unreal. Who got the clip? Who got the clip? I gotta post this in my guild discord, dude. I, um... I... I I'm not even Twitch acting. I'm like really shocked. Not not just that it's happening to me, but that someone's t t doing it at all. It's t it's midnight server time. There's no one online, and you're g checking for a hoon. My mouth is wide open. I, <laughs> I need that clip. I need that clip so bad. He's a gray passer! You gray passed! You gray passed! Tier GC and didn't finish! Two bosses! You're G checking for a hoon! I hate you bitches.
I can't, I'm putting this guy. I have to ignore this guy. I can't ignore any more players. Hello, Maddie. <laughs> I'm only toxic because I'm streaming. I can't believe I'm at the ignore limit. That's wild. That's unreal. That is so unreal. I just can't believe I'm so... I think we got a clip here. Oh, you clipped it too early. Okay, here we go. Let's watch this one. Let me see this one. I like that. You still clipped it a little too early though. Cause like, you want to see the person whisper me. You know what I mean? That is wild. That is so wild. Huh? Have I done the Stormwind Fire? Uh, world events. Yeah, I've done that one, okay. Is there a fire here? Okay, I guess we gotta walk everywhere. I got G checked for a hoon by a gray passing ret paladin. You really are a ret, you know what I mean? A ret, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Ret does not stand for retribution, I'll have you know. It stands for something a little different. Oh, I will say this though. Tis of the Kingdom, good music. No complaints about the music other than um, Kakariko Village had no Kakariko leitmotif. What is with that? No. Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. Come on. They were too scared to put the song in the game. Mm. 
my stomach is rumbling. It's going. Today's been so crazy. Trying to go burning steeps. Wait, isn't this like a giant door? I don't even think I have the key for this. Let me check it. I don't know Alliance zones very well. Yeah, yeah, a rubber room with rats. Save some of the chat for the rest of chat. God. I made a machine in Tears of the Kingdom. It was my masterpiece. It was a flying machine, uh, and it lagged my game, so it was, like, unusable, because it made me run at 3 FPS. Yeah, I know about th those doors, but I thought there was like a giant, uh, like massive double doors that I'm about to approach. Alliance have been here. Keep your eyes peeled, friends. Yeah, like this. I thought this was like a giant door that was like closed. This was closed at one point, right? I'm sure of it. I think this was closed in classic, no? Like, surely. That was never a door. It was beta. It was a beta. That's the gate where the orcs were attacked? Yeah, I know. That's the Warcraft 1 gate. I know. Uh, who do you think you're talking to? I was in beta. That was the Orcs v. Humans gate. You wouldn't know about that. Man. Chi checked for a hoon. Rep players, dude. That is crazy. Wrong place, wrong time, as far as I'm concerned. <laughs> Wait, I should take that flight point. <gasps> it's all good. I saw Paladin. What do you want me to do?
yesterday I was running around doing this, uh, you know, doing these fires. And uh, there was this guy with a super racist name, which by the way, if I can't have the name Jigglypuff, it is so crazy to me that this guy had this name. His name had a racial slur in it. Two of them in one name. He had two slurs in his name. I camped that guy for an hour. How the hell did that get through? But I can't have Jigglypuff? What was he doing outside a raid? Oh, he was like a gray level. He was like level 45. I wouldn't have bothered him normally, but he ran past and I had to do a double take because I was like, did I just read two slurs in one name? I turned back and yup, I did. So I gave him the full dragon experience. Nothing in the lock? Okay. Oh wait, I need to do this for an achievement. Why am I not spinning? Oh, there it goes. There's a fire to desecrate in the lock. Oh, there it is. I mean, I was going that way anyway. Oh, I need the outfit. Oh, I blew all of my, um, I blew all my things on torches be and I can't even beat this um, achievement. It's bugged. I did it on retail, no problem. Can't do it on classic because even if you, let me show you, right? Even if you do it with a macro, pointed at your feet, watch this, right? I'm spamming, I'm spamming. My character is catching them, see that? So it won't throw them until you catch them. Which means there is a, like a hard limit on how many you can throw. And then, a, and then there's like the strat. It's like, oh, just go inside. There's a low roof and you're correct. That should work. But it just doesn't for some reason. I don't think I have the ping for it. I bought like 40 of these torches, even though you should only need like 10. And then while I was doing the achievement, I was doing them in this, uh, in one of the inns and the torches like weren't returning to my inventory. So I lost like a bunch of torches just because they just fucking didn't catch. So I don't think I'm even going to be able to get this meta achievement, if I'm being honest. But it's something to do. Get to hang out with you guys for a little bit. You know, a palette cleanser after the, uh, the stream earlier. You could try doing it with a friend. I did. I tried to do it with someone in a group and we were standing on top of each other and it doesn't work like that. How is Black Desert? I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> I did my time. That's all I'm going to say. 
I got my bag. Ah, <sighs> Ocarina of Time. What a perfect game. You really are the greatest game of all time and it's not close. Yeah, I played Diablo 4. That game sucks. <laughs> Diablo 4 is like a joke. It's like a bad joke. I don't know how else to describe it. Diablo 4 is like, imagine you're, you're really familiar with ARPGs and then you're playing an ARPG and like things that are objectively fundamental features that should just exist, don't exist. You can't search your gear. What do you mean? The gems take up inventory space? The story sucks. I mean, that's a given, but like, and the voice acting sucks. Every character has those fake Russian accents. You know when the game, everybody is talking like this. And it's like, could you just fucking not? It's like, it really takes me out. <laughs> you guys know what I'm saying? <laughs> no map overlay in an AR RPG, dude. It, it's just like, the list just goes on. I couldn't believe it. Yeah, there are features in Diablo 2 and 3 that just aren't there. And the game is online? Oh, man. <laughs> Good games don't exist from AAA companies these days. What happened? <laughs> Fuck every shareholder. I hope you die in a submarine accident. <laughs> If you're a sh if you're a Blizzard shareholder, I got a I got a company you should check out and get involved in. They they uh they have submersible trips to the bottom of the ocean. You should check that out. <laughs> that shit is tight. <laughs> yeah, it's tight. Damn, too soon? Shut the fuck up, bitch. Existence is making fun of death. You realize that, right? Like, are you not clued into the joke of the universe? People who are like, it's too soon to be making fun of death. Hello? That's like all we do as a species. And I'm especially not going to give a fuck about someone I don't know. That's just human nature. People pretending like, 
You can't talk bad about someone who just died, even if they were an objectively bad person. They've just died. I don't care that you broke your elbow. You know what I mean? <laughs> nah, the only victim in that scenario is that is the uh the stepson who was on Twitter horny posting. That guy needs all the love he can get right now. Someone send that guy nudes. He is grieving and I'm really hurt. It's just emotional. You know what I mean? We watched Titanic like two nights ago. <laughs> we watched it in Discord. Dude, David Cameron is a fucking scammer. Titanic is like a 10 out of 10 movie, but then Avatar is like, oh, it's like a tech demo, you little scoundrel. David Cameron is like a guy who had to make really good movies to fund his like water fetish. Wait, what did I say? James Cameron, what did I say? David Cameron? Wait, who's David Cameron? Oh, that's the fucking, um, never mind. That's a uh, prime minister of England. I was like, when we were watching Titanic, we just kept pointing out like, damn, this dialogue is so good and believable. And the chemistry between all these actors is so fucking good. This movie's a masterpiece. Damn, this guy made Avatar, that shit sucks. <laughs> this guy made Fern Gully HD. Unobtainium. Stop it. Unobtainium is a super serious plot device. We will persevere. Ghostlands, Plaguelands. I haven't even seen Avatar 2. I got a friend who saw it five times and I said to her, so what's the plot? And she could not tell me. The only thing more cringe than meat writing billionaires is spending energy being performatively cheery about their deaths. Oh yeah, the people who were like on Twitter like celebrating uh, are just morons. Just keep it real. You don't care. I don't care. I'm not a bad person for saying I don't care about someone dying who I didn't know. That shit happens all the time. <laughs> yeah, that was like, here's how the billionaires dying on the sub was a win for the working class. I'm like, dude, shut the fuck up. <laughs> Mansion is so cringe. Be ready for the 
the bad guy gets rezzed in the second movie? What, like the um the Duke Nukem type guy? Like the, the American character who's like, we gotta kill these natives and get the unobtainium. He gets rezzed as a blue guy? What a choke. What a joke. Somehow Palpatine returned. Somehow Palpatine returned. The Star Wars trilogy, the new one is like, how do these people get these jobs? I I said to, I, I have like a lot of friends who are like um, unemployed and they're kind of like doomers because they think that they like don't have anything going for them and they and they don't know how to do anything. And if you feel like that in chat, you need to understand something. Every single person alive in every job, they have no idea what's going on. Every single human on this planet is blagging it. I'm fucking blagging it right now. No one knows what they're doing. No one has a clue. The proof is in the pudding. So just, just wake up and give it your best. And if your best on one day is like 20% of your mana, but then it's like 60 the next day, that's fine. Everyone is winging it at all times, dude. I've been doing this shit for like 10 years and I'm still just winging it. High levels of copium detected, uh-uh. Nuh-uh, dude. It's not even true. That is not, it's not copium. What I'm saying is the truth. Look around you. Look around you. Do you think if anyone had a clue what was going on, everything would suck this bad? How is it possible? This is the peak of human civilization as we know it. And it fucking sucks for like everyone. You don't need to worry about being unemployed temporarily for 10 years. Because everyone's fucking winging it anyway. No one's got a clue. Just wake up and do your best, dude. It's all a joke. You know what I mean? It's all a sick joke. I haven't got all day. Hmm, I guess I should go to the bulwark. Wait, there's a Western Plaguelands flight path now. I forgot about that. I miss my topographical map. Even the people that you think have to have like these ultra levels of genius to do something like the guy flying your plane the guy driving the train. These guys have been up for like 26 hours, by the way. They're cooked off meth. They're like on drugs. They don't know what the fuck is going on. Because their job is so demanding, they can't do it safely. That's just how it is. Someone needs to confiscate my copy of Joker movie. Yeah, I know like most of plane flying is automated, but what? I'm, that's not the point. The point I'm saying is like, like, 
I already set up. Yeah, the people that we rely on to get the shit done, if you were them and you knew what they knew, you would shit yourself. No, I should go to the bulwark. Uh, yeah, I should go to the bulwark. I think it'll be faster. Pilots get plenty of sleep. That's not what my pilot friends tell me. I have a friend who's a pilot, and then I have a friend, oh, he's not a friend of mine, but he's like a friend of my dad's, and he used to be like. Anyway, and, and they have both said, if you knew how sleep deprived, and in some cases, stupid, the people who are flying your plane are, you would be terrified. But it doesn't really terrify me, because it's like, ah, whatever. If I'm in a plane crash, I'm in a plane crash, you know. I'm going off the goop. <laughs> oh, man. How about these fires, huh? I can't believe that Black Desert Online, those quests had me thinking I was gonna do any amount of content and then it was just a dialogue box instead of doing the content that I know exists in the game. Like the quest where it was like, oh, go ahead and like, um, Go and f go and fish. I was like, cool, I'm gonna fish. And it was just a dialogue box. <laughs> that blew me away. No, I didn't get any green light, but it's like an hour and a half into the next world, so like, whatever. Um. Okay. Da, 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 da. Yeah, that was a shocking um experience. You have a stomach on oh, my baby, I'm sorry. Be brave, okay? Man, you know what game is really good? Hollow Knight. What a fucking amazing game. Every good game that I've played in the last 10 years, pretty much, has been made by an indie dev. Undertale, Stardew Valley, Factorio, 
uh, Terraria, Hollow Knight, of course. I just... Yeah, Dark Souls 3 <laughs> is the exception. Did I not like Elden Ring? Okay, here's my thing with Elden Ring. God, how do I, and I don't even know how to say it. I enjoy Elden Ring at its core, but the game is too big. Everything should be randomized each gameplay. Like, you know how there's all the dungeons and stuff? Um, it just feels bad to do like a shrine dungeon in Elden Ring and then you get like a piece of shit loot you're never going to use. And I know, I know, I know. It was fun to do it all the first time, kind of. Um, until you realize like none of this loot is good and I'm just fighting like the same guy every time. It was too big. It was too big and the replayability is too difficult to like start up. And also, they did something with boss AI where the bosses read your inputs in a way that isn't fun. And I'm not a scrub, you know what I mean? Like, I'm not one of these scrubs, okay? I beat Dark Souls 3 unarmed. I beat Dark Souls 2 unarmed. I beat Dark Souls 1 unarmed. Do you know what I mean? Like, I've done all the stuff. Like, I'm not a scrub. So when I tell you that Elden Ring bosses read your inputs in a way that is unenjoyable for the player, it's like so miserable. And, like, bosses have, like, combos that you can't actually dodge. Um, just stuff like that is annoying. Yeah, and it suffers from shitty last boss syndrome. I don't know why games do that. Like, uh, Radagon is cool. I like that fight. But then Elden Beast happens and it's like, what the fuck is this? The last boss was ass. The only last good boss was Gwen. Huh? Are you serious? Soul of Cinder was cool. And then, uh, Gale? Gale was an incredible fight. Melania would have been a great final boss. Melania is one of the cheapest, worst fights of the game. And yeah, I know. Oh, it's so difficult. No, no, no. That boss is cheap and annoying and not fun. And I beat that when I was doing my first playthrough. This is pre-nerf. I beat that with the giant smasher. No summons. No parries. No magic. I'm no scrub. Right, I'm gonna buy a couple more of this and try and spam that achievement because I don't think I can get the other one anyway. I just don't have enough flames. Right, I'm gonna get 40, just to have 40. You don't need 40, but it's been so difficult. I guess I'll do the, I guess I'll do these as well. Hi, man.
what I will say that I like about uh, Elden Ring, though, and I've always liked this about Dark Souls, right? Okay, so there's this misconception that Dark Souls is a difficult game, and that is completely untrue. Dark Souls has a... And, and there was all this discourse about, oh, Dark Souls should have an easy mode. Uh, Elden Ring should have an easy mode for, like, uh, us gamers who are bad. And it's like, dude, the game has an optional difficulty slider that you just decide as the player. If you want to cheese every single boss, even the hard ones, you just can. Like, you can kill Melania in like three hits if you're using the right weapon setup. Oh, you want the game to be easy? Just play magic and use a, a, a spectral tear or whatever it, that item's called. Like, the game has difficulty built into it by design, and it's really clever design. Which is why it's so fucking confusing to me that there's e like how is there even a debate at all about the, the difficulty of these games because like if you've played them you know this like you just know that oh you can just like the difficulty is fully optional where is the oh i just have to press this right Huh? Yeah, I'm definitely not going to get this meta achievement this time. I just don't have the flames. Even if I went and did all the ones that I haven't done because I did them last year, I'm not going to have enough total currency to buy the outfit. Yeah, fires reset every year. Blood and thunder. But I've spent so much money on these torches because my first like round of torches disappeared from my inventory. Let's open a wormy. Oh, also, another thing they did this patch, which is really, really fucked up. They flipped on this wormhole, right? This list is in the reverse order that it was last patch. Not only that, the same is true for Old War. Every teleporter in Old War has been flipped. Why the fuck did they do that? I'll tell you why they did that. Because last patch, they manually changed it because having it the other way sucks. And then when they patched in this patch using, you know, the data from Old WoW, they haven't updated it because they don't actually have devs playing this game who actually do the game so they would know these things. Ugh. Man. Man. <laughs> How tight would it be if I flew over here and the time lost Proto Drake spawned? It spawns right on this spot here. Right here. At least that's one of its spawns.
Okay, and now I will show you the... Uh, the juggling torches don't work. So here's how this works. Um, let me track the achievement. Now, I did this on retail literally like four days ago. So I know this is how it's supposed to be done. You're supposed to come here, low ceiling, so that the torches don't, you know, they bounce off terrain. And then you just spam the button with a mouse over macro at your feet, like this, right? This in theory should work, but as you've noticed, your character stops to catch them and I can't cast while that's happening. And that's not supposed to happen. It didn't happen in retail like this. There's no fucking way I got the achievement anyway. Okay. Well, I spent about two hours yesterday trying to do this achievement. And I'm not joking. Look, I have the macro ready to go. You think I'm lying? What a fucking scam game, dude. I hate this shit. It's easier to at player than to at mouse over. I'll have you know. At cursor. I'm not even on your level, dude. Or you're not on mine. Yeah, I just had to do it. I had to do it live. I mean, these other two I can't do. I mean, I can do this one, but this one is not going to happen this year. I mean, I guess there are still some flames that I didn't do. And they would give me like what? How many did you get? It's like 20, right? Mm, yeah, I got a new dagger, but this is like the worst upgrade that... Like of all the items I can get from Trial of the Grand Crusader... The weapons are my worst upgrade. They're only plus 28 DPS each. And I got one. <laughs> Look, Frywood's in chat, you did it. He was with me yesterday when I was raging that it wasn't working. Do you know what I really don't like about Diablo 4? The stats are so boring, and I don't really know how to explain what I mean, but, like, you get a new piece of gear, and you have to fucking, like, think about it for, like, 20 minutes to decipher if it's an upgrade, because it's like, oh, plus 23 damage to enemies who are nearby. What the fuck is that? Whatever happened to, like, plus dex, plus int, plus whiz? Oh. No. Damn, they didn't do any damage considering they're in all PvP gear. That's quite wild. I have no... Sorry, that I wasn't in PvP gear. Zero percent chance... Yeah, two percent chance to shit your pants when you uh, attack a mob. Yeah, Diablo 4 stats, they just, they just feel terrible. Why isn't your world all ghostly when you're dead? I disabled it. Exploded? I wasn't really exploded, though. Like, um... You know, in that situation, if I don't have my PvP trinket equipped, I just die. You just die for free, right? Like, that's, that's, that's just how the game is. Also, why is this song so loud? Uh, but the fact I didn't die quicker is, like, it just it, 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 uh, speaks more about the rogue. <laughs> like... I 
I have no resilience. That was like a seven second kill. Damn, it's a massacre. I can't believe my PvP was active too. Didn't I just come from Shirella Ron? From Dollar Ron? Let me get a new playlist going. Oh, I can listen to copyrighted music. I might listen to some blank banshee. I'm in a blank banshee mood. Oh, yeah, I just do this. <laughs> right, this should be on the music layer. It is. Good. I, I, I. No, I should have taken the flight path. Hold on. This soundtrack may as well be a video game OST. It's like the soundtrack to a JRPG that never existed on the PlayStation. How's the mana bar? It's um it's reignited, you know. But I don't know how much left of stream I have in me because my voice is uh getting tired. That's one thing I've noticed, like um when I stream because I'm streaming, I subconsciously project my voice a lot more, which uh is a lot more difficult to do when speaking in this register. And you know, I don't wanna, I'm not just gonna <laughs> not talk in this register. You know, streaming's a lot of talking and after a while, voice gets tired. But this has been like a five hour stream, so six hour stream. So that makes sense. Talking sucks. Talking never used to make my voice tire out when I used to, you know, like speak down here a bit more. But, um, I don't want to talk like that. <laughs> Feeling like... You got death's verdict yet? No, I'm not gonna get that. I'm not even, I mean, if we start dropping like one a week, then I might get one, but um, that is best for the rest of the expansion for a lot of classes, but for rogues, we replace that in ICC quite soon, like quite quickly. So it would be a waste to give it, to prioritize a rogue with that um, trinket. Yeah, talking is the, Talking is the worst thing about streaming. That's honestly the reason I don't go live more is that um, I just get like in my own head about, oh, but what if my voice gives out like two hours into the stream? What a shitty stream or like, I don't know. Learning to talk in a different register is so fucking difficult to be emotive, right? And like, I can be emotive in different ways when I'm talking down here and it, and it doesn't like strain my voice at all. Cause obviously this is like the natural way that my um, like vocal cords sit, like without having to try. But you know, it's like, 
I'm, it's not even that I'm actively trying to talk up here, but when I start giving it volume over a lengthy period of time, it, uh, it just gets tired, you know? It just gets tired. And like while I'm streaming, uh, if I take like a 10 second break from talking and don't say anything, I get all in my head about like, oh, but you're streaming and you can't be quiet because you need to be talking the whole time. <laughs> hey, Grumpy, thanks. Hey. Focal surgery or not? Um, I've heavily considered it. And the reason that I'm not doing it, at least now, it's not, I'm not saying I would never get one, but I need to finish the Barney Beekeeper series because once I get vocal surgery, I'm not going to be able to do this voice, you guys. Like, I'm not going to be able to give you the beekeeper. He's going to be fully fucking dead. And I need to make a new character. Like my job relies on this part of my voice, which is so fucking irritating as a trans woman to have to, to know that this very male part of you is like, um, so important to your current line of work. Like if I can't make the videos with this voice, I don't make money. You know what I mean? So, at the, very ne at the very least, I need to finish the Beekeeper series, like the Barney Beekeeper series. It's not to say I can't like rebrand and make like a different character for WoW Hardcore. I was thinking that if I was to do WoW Hardcore, I would maybe do like a gnome. Hold on, I'm getting a phone call. I'll be right back one sec. I need to mute my mic. Why did the chicken cross the road? Okay, sorry. Oh my god. Um, yeah, so... Basically, in the space of one week... Hold on. I just dropped my hairbrush. In the space of one week, my um, oven... So, uh, first of all, when I moved into this property, the oven... So there's... Uh, you should have an oven seal, right? When you open your oven, there's like a rubber ring around like the perimeter 
um, and that stops the heat escaping. When I moved into this property, my oven had half a seal. The other half had fallen off. My uh, bathtub isn't attached to the wall because it fell off and the front panel is like fallen off too. And it was like this when I moved in, right? And they're finally getting around to fixing it. But not only that, in the same week, my oven, um, the dial fell off. Like, you know, you turn the dial to turn it on like and, and heat it up. Um, th the dial fell off. The um, light went out. And also my toilet, you know, when you flush a toilet and for a little while, after, you know, for like a minute or two after you flush it, 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 it goes like, you know, it kind of hisses. My toilet hisses all the time. So I've had all these things wrong with my apartment and I've been like complaining like over and over. And then they'll say like, um, oh, we tried to contact you like 10 times this month, but you didn't pick up your phone. Uh, so we've marked it as like done. And I'm like, dude, you did not fucking call me at all. Anyway, they're coming over tomorrow. So that's what that was. I'm trying to move, dude. Me fans are stupid pigs. Hey, this boat still works, right? Because I remember when Wrath came around, this boat was bugged. Like, it never showed up. Hey, Bangry, thanks for the sub. Back to Texas? No, I'm not going back to America. Not unless I fall in love. Unlikely. The bar is so low, yet no one can meet my, uh... We're gonna fucking crap! Okay, we're good. Okay. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god! Okay, we didn't crash. <laughs> the bar is so low. Do you know what I mean? My romantic life has been suffering for so long and the bar is so low. And the only people I'm interested in, wait, what? Howling Fjord? This is supposed to take me to Darkshore. The Darkshore boat is now in storm wind. Okay, peep the tag. You know what? This is just going to be faster than my original idea. I mean, I could have... If, if I had this Everlook Dimension Ripper up, I would take that. <laughs> Where is the Dark Shore boat? <gasps> I was flagged and I didn't get... I didn't get gapped. I didn't even think about it. Ba, ba, ba. <sighs> what 
we talking about before I was rudely interrupted by my phone? The bar is low. Oh, God. Um, so I, oh, dude, this is so funny. Actually, can I even talk about it? Hold on. I gotta, I gotta think about this. I was waiting for this guy to ask me out because like, what the fuck do I look like asking out a guy? Like I've been there and it's embarrassing. Um, anyway, he ends up getting with someone else. It's fine, whatever. We're still friends, we're still talking. And then he tells me while he's still with her that he was thinking about asking me out, but he didn't because of the distance. And it's like, whatever, that's whatever. But the thing is his girlfriend cheated on him. And I had to be the one to find out because oh, it's so fucked up. Okay. Does he fair fix? Let me just, let me just prime this by saying, I don't care what your fetish is as a consenting adult. So if you are into diapers, that is your fucking business, okay? But if you are in a relationship, a monogamous, a monogamous relationship, you should not be in fetish dating groups posting your profile and saying you are single, which is what happened with this person that I'm friends with. And I, I've, she didn't, <clears throat> this girl is stupid. No offense. So she posted a profile that was meant for a fetish dating group, but she posted it to her Facebook wall. And in the post, she said she was single when she's not. And I was the first one to see it. And so I had to be the one to tell him, hey, your girlfriend with the diaper fetish that I now know about, wish I didn't have to know that, by the way. Yeah, she's posting in these dating groups and she's accidentally posted to her wall instead of the dating groups. So they break up. He's sending me all the texts of her and she's sending him selfies of her crying and saying all this manipulative shit like, I just wish I could be prettier. I call myself a monster because I'm so ugly. Blah, 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 blah. He takes her back. And what happens? He catches her cheating again. And now they've broken up for good. So he's potentially on the market. And you know what I realized after all this? I don't want to play with you anymore. You know what I mean? I don't even, I don't even, I don't even want you anymore. <laughs> I'm over it, dude. I'm over it. I'm over it. You gonna die from full damage? No, I play rogue. If I die from full damage here, I give 20, I give 200 subs. Yeah, nice try, bitches. That's a rogue only shortcut. Actually, mages can do it as well, and priests. Yeah, so he's single right now. And then I've realized like, wait, I don't even want you. <laughs> After like all this time. <laughs> oh. And that isn't even the most embarrassing story, but I can't get into the other one.
but you know what's so fucked? I have a story that's relevant. Okay, so TLDR, right? I had to block this person because um, they were a scumbag, shit cunt. You know what I mean? Like, and it's no shit cunts. <sighs> Do you know the Twitter algorithm is coded by Satan in hell to show you content you don't want to see, but it is coded in such a way where it's trying to rage bait you into engagement. And we've been knew this, right? We know this, but I didn't know the level of evil the algorithm is on because do you know what fucking happened the other week? And I never look at the, f I, n I never ever look at the for you page. But Red, this was the day Reddit was down, right? Reddit was down and I thought, fuck it, I have no other social media to look at and I'm bored. I clicked for you. The first post I saw was a picture of the boy that I have blocked, right? I got flashbanged with an image of him and he's blocked. How did this happen? Because one of my followers still follows his girlfriend and she posted a picture of him. And a follower of mine liked the picture. So somehow Twitter showed me this knowing I don't want to see that. What the fuck? How evil is that? How truly it ruined my day. It truly ruined my day. How fucked up is that? So fucked up. It's like unbelievable. Unreal. That is, that's how I know. Twitter is designed by some really supremely evil people. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> yeah, do not look at the For You page. My Twitter page, my homepage on Twitter used to be so lit all the time. It was just nonstop funny posts, gaming clips. It was all this like super cool shit that I wanted to see all the time. And now it's just transphobia and rage bait and pictures of this boy I don't want to ever see in my life. I think I'm at my best when I'm complaining, though. I mean, I think I'm a pretty. I think I'm pretty good at ranting. Yeah, I'll look at my the amount of times. Right, I'll be on Twitter and it will say trending for you. JK Rowling, hashtag JK Rowling, JK Rowling, or hashtag transphobia. And I'm like, are you fucking stupid? And I have blocked JK Rowling. And every time that comes up, I click X. This is spam. This is malicious. I don't want to see this. But it's still, dude, and I live in England. I can't escape Harry Potter if I fucking try to. I see Harry Potter related shit every day since I was like nine years old. I shit you not. Should have been fucking JK Rowling on that submersible. <laughs> you love the plush? Thanks so much. Don't say that. Fuck you.
Damn, this is such a nice area. <laughs> the sub thing was so tragic. The, the tragic part about it was that they all died instantaneously. That is tragic. Wait, so what happens if I just... Because I've already done this before last year. Yeah, I don't get anything for this, do I? Oh, I can hand it in, though. Isn't that less stressful than knowing you're going to suffocate? Um, media literacy and, like, sub... Oh, dude, it's fine. It's fine. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Some people are just born immune to jokes. That's what I've realized. And that's fine. That's fine. Some people are destined to never be funny a day in their life. I'm not one of those people. You're funny looking, does that count? No, dude, because like the majority of humans are funny looking or a funny looking little species. I know social media has like fucked your brain into thinking that like most people are attractive, but that's just not true. And also uh, everyone's a liar on social media. I'm not even that hot. <laughs> You sadly did not inherit your father's quick wit. Dude, I inherited my dad's autism and his hairline. What the fuck? <gasps> I'm lagging. Okay, no, we're good. They should have sterilized my dad. It's criminal. You know what I mean? Like, you can't be giving a fucking kid that hairline. It should be criminal. I'm just glad I got my mum's, um, I'm very much like my mum in a lot of ways. Which is really cool. Does my mum play an undead rogue? No, but my mum, when she comes over, cause she visits, you know, uh, and I cook food and stuff. Or we get takeout. Um, my mom tells me stories like from her past and she would have been a fucking rogue, dude. <laughs> like she's a rogue. <laughs> she taught me how to be a rogue IRL. She's the one who taught me. The biggest life lesson my mom taught me was play the game, idiot. I was 11 years old and I was in trouble with school because I wasn't doing my homework. And she said, and she, because like, I've always been the kind of person that you can't tell me anything. Like you can't tell me anything. Like I'm going to do what I want to do and you can't give me no advice. And I didn't ever want to do homework because I was like, this is bullshit. I'm in school six hours a day and my youth 
is waning. You know what I mean? I'm not spending my youth doing homework. I'm at school six hours a day, and it may as well be eight hours when you take into account, uh, you know, getting there and back. Like, fuck, I'm going to spend three hours a day on homework. And she was like, I'm not mad at you for not doing homework, but you've got to play the game. And I was like, what the fuck are you talking about? What she meant was, you need to scam. If you don't want to do your homework, find a way to make that the reality that you live. Because she was like, I'm not dealing with you getting in trouble. So yeah, I found a way. You are only in school for six hours. Yeah, nine till three is pretty standard in America, uh, in England. Nine to three is usually that's like the that's like the starting point. My school was more like, my school was 9.15, basically. It was 9.15 till uh, Okay, so basically the way I scammed my school was that if you, <sighs> how do I explain this? They had these things called after school detention. However, they had this system where if your parents can't pick you up from detention, um, then the school has to pay for your ride home, right? And so, uh, I would just never do homework and I would get a detention over lunchtime, which meant like uh, lunchtime was 1.15 till 2.15. And so at 1.45, I would have to go for like a half an hour detention. But usually it would be like if you got, if you kept getting detentions, it would like stack, right? And then you would be getting after school detentions. But because my parents couldn't pick me up. That meant the school would have to pay for the after-school detention. And so, you know, I'd show up to all these classes. They'd be like, where's your homework? And I'd be like, I haven't done it. Fuck you. And they'd be like, oh, well, we're going to have to, you know, give you a lunchtime detention. I'm like, cool. Um, but then they would start being like, well, we have to give you an after-school detention. And I would, like, level with them. I'd be like, listen, here's the deal, right? My parents don't pick me up from after-school detention. And I'm not going to do my homework. So... I'm happy to come in every lunchtime for a detention. Um, and that was the way I thought, because I was like, I'm already here. Who gives a fuck what I'm doing at lunchtime? Uh, so yeah, so I would have detention pretty much every single day that I was at school uh, for half an hour at the end of my lunch. I played the game. And I saved time. Think about it. Do you, and, and also, it would be every lesson, right? So let's say like I've got maths first thing in the morning, and they're like, where's your homework? I didn't do it. You've got a maths detention at lunch, right? And then I go into English. Where's your English? Oh, you've got a detention at lunch. Oh, sorry, I've already got a maths detention. And then they're like, oh, well, fuck. I can't do anything about that. Um, so I would spend half an hour a day in detention, but I'm already in school anyway, and... I would be doing half an hour of detention instead of doing like three hours of homework a day. So yeah, I played the game. Thanks, mom. My mom taught me that one. She said, play the game. I played the game. I didn't want to get a quote-unquote real job so what did I do I played the game literally yes but you know metaphorically I turned this into a job what's this song this is lost without you by Makorosu 8299 I 
think the last one was Blank Banshee Cerulean. <laughs> Most of your detentions were for fighting people. I only ever got two in two fights in school, and they were both uh, one hit KOs on my part. Yeah. I didn't want to fight. The first fight, I didn't want to fight, um, but I did. Because, you know. I was I was attacked. Um and I fucking clobbered this kid. And then the second one the second one was a crime of passion. Uh basically this there was a boy in my uh he wasn't even a friend of mine, but there was this boy in my uh like my tutor group, which is like what we call like classes in England. So like, you know, like I have I would have like all my lessons with this kid. He wasn't my friend, but like, you know. And he was on crutches because he broke his leg. Anyway, this other boy tripped him over with his broken leg and something about that i don't know you're like a teenager right your hormones are raging or whatever good morning something about that just made me instantly see red and i don't really remember how it happened but uh yeah i just ended up like pushing him against a wall and i threw one punch i heard a very big <coughs> and i broke his nose and all the blood was flowing everywhere um and yeah I got suspended for one day and I told my mom exactly what happened and it was validated by the CCTV, which we watched. And my mom took me home and she made me a bacon sandwich and she said, you did the right thing and you can play RuneScape all day. And so I did. The kid's name was Jack and he had ginger hair and he was called Ginger Jack and he didn't come back to school after that day. The first, um, the first fight I got in was a year before and I didn't even get in trouble because it was really strange. What happened was this boy just didn't like me. And then everyone told me like, oh, you're gonna fight. Uh, I'm not gonna say his name, but they were like, oh, you're gonna fight blah, blah, blah today. And I was like, huh? And they're like, yeah, lunchtime. Everyone says you're gonna fight blah, blah, blah. And I was like, oh, I'm not gonna do that. Anyway, lunchtime comes and he like approaches me and he's like, you know, pushing me and shit. And I was like, fuck's sake. And I was like, well, I'm not gonna run away. So uh, he threw a punch and I, fucking like the Matrix dude, it was like slow motion. He threw a punch and I like, I like, I dodged it by like, you know, just like, kind of like moving my head out the way. And my body just like acted on its own. And then I threw a punch back and he fell over and that was it. And then he ran away. And then I didn't get in trouble because, uh, after that happened, he threatened to stab me and a teacher heard it and he had already been in trouble for threatening to stab someone else. Uh, oh no, that wasn't what happened. He threatened to stab me and the teacher heard it and he got suspended. And then when he came back to school, um, another person in my year was messing with him in a class and he took the blade out of his pencil sharpener and cut the boy on his arm. And it was like a bitch scratch. It wasn't even that deep or anything. But because he was already on record as like, I'm going to stab you, um, that and that boy knew it, he told a teacher like, hey, blah, 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 just fucking cut me with like a razor blade. And he got expelled on the spot. It was pretty cool.
And then one time I was on a night out and I was hanging with some friends and they were friends with his older sister. And I felt really awkward because like, you know, everyone knew that I had like, you know, thrown a punch at this kid and fucking like floored him. And like an hour into this like house party, she comes over to me. She's like, so I heard you beat up my brother. And I was like, um, well, yeah, it didn't really happen. Like, she's like, I'm joking. He's a little shit. And anyway, it turned out like they didn't even like live together or something and they hated each other anyway. Um, it was pretty cool. Me fans are stupid pigs. Hey, Yeezy Money and Spider Plays. Thanks for the subs, guys. Yeah, I've never been much of a fighter, but I'm also not a runner. You know, I'm like a little bitch. Yeah, yeah. Like, you guys know me, and you know me, like, even, like, pre-transition, right? Like, I wasn't, like, a scary guy when I was a boy. I was, I'm, like, a, I was, like, a little femboy, a little twink. You know what I mean? The least scary person you'll ever meet. So I think I need to get this one. How do you even get here? Wait, striking back. What is that? Oh, I'm not going to do that. Wait, so why did I come here? You've got mail. I guess we go to Thunderbluff. Hmm, two minutes. I guess we'll wait. Hey, JD. Thanks for the prime. I've never ever felt uh, that emotion I felt when I watched that boy trip up the boy on crutches. He had a broken leg. He was on the floor, like I, I can hear him screaming in my, like I can still hear the scream of this. Like imagine you've got a broken leg and then someone trips you up on your broken leg. Nah, something happened. Something happened. Something awoke inside me and I just fucking floored this kid. I'm not even like a, I'm not even a violent person. But something happened. Something wrong with teenagers? Yeah. I think it's all those hormones. Confessing to a murder? No, I've never even come close to that. Jesus. Okay, we're gonna hearth to Thunder Bluff and we're gonna get the fire at Thunder Bluff. How many of these things do I have? I need 300. Dude, I, there's the no way. Pigs. I don't think I can get 300 burning blossoms. Would you f Are you serious? A gray? A gray mob? A gray mob? I'm gonna pop evasion and then pop my hearthstone. Hey, Glasgow, thanks for the prime. Good night, Sovereign. What? You hit me with through evasion at level 40? This is stupid. What am I doing? Hey, thanks, Spider Plays. Thunder Bluff for the mix up. Did I jump like that? Oh yeah, you guys, you guys, uh, th the people, the support from the, 
like whole Richard situation, which is ongoing, by the way. I'm still not paid. Um, but there was someone on that YouTube video. By the way, I didn't even know this was a feature until I uploaded that video. Because um, whenever YouTube send me like an email about like, oh, here's this new feature we added. I'm just like, yeah, yeah, whatever, accept. Like, I'm not reading this shit. Um, there was a... What am I talking about? Oh, yeah. the Someone donated three days ago on that video. 500 bucks. Are you, are you insane? If you somehow watch this VOD, you know who you are. Thank you so much. Because, like, honestly, like... Um, all of the, like, Twitch subs and, like, donos that you guys give. Like, I mean, I don't, like, just do the math, right? Like, the guy stole $50,000 from me. That was, like, all the money I made in that year. That was everything I worked for. And it was more than a year because it was, like, you know, I, I, I had been working on that video series for so fucking long. It was the whole point of Classic. It was everything. And he stole it from me. Bastard. It should have been him on that submersible. Um... So yeah, so you guys coming through and helping me. And you know, I'm not trying to be out here like begging for money ever, but yeah, just that was so incredible. Let's go to Silithus. That's the max you can donate on YouTube? Wow, that's crazy. Yeah, I mean, just incredible. You've got mail. Just incredible. Corby, thank you so much. And I know I should stream more. I know, I, I get called lazy by my friends. I don't think I'm lazy. I do a lot of stuff behind the scenes uh, in terms of like honing my craft and such. But I know I could stream more and I want to stream more. But I have... I have so much I want to do and I have so much going on in real life. <laughs> hey, thanks, Kotaxo. Less than three. Yeah, I definitely have unmedicated ADHD, but I don't want to go on meth. I don't want to be on Adderall. I don't want to do that. That shortens your lifespan. You're not lazy. You're not a streamer. You're a video maker who streams sometimes. Yeah, that's just it. But like, it really, you know, it's, it's like difficult when like my last upload was like a year ago and it's like, I hate, I hate making excuses. Hey, Chanta, thank you. Making excuses sucks, but it's even worse when the excuse is, like, so real. Like, sorry I couldn't get this WoW video out in time. My manager stole $50,000 from me and I had to start all over with my merch, which is the whole point of the video, because you, you can't just live off ad revenue from YouTube anymore. It's, like, not viable. So it's like, I have to have merch to sell. Like, I have to. But it's not viable. No, but I appreciate that. Thank you. I've been doing this for 10 years and I'm not even like a millionaire. I'm not even close. Do you know what I mean? Do you know how fucked that is? Like, not saying like, oh, I deserve so much more than I should get, right? I feel like everyone on this fucking planet deserves way more than they get. But it is kind of like, I'm like, damn. <laughs> I gotta make some fucking money. Yeah, but I'm out here. I'm out here. I got hella wow content coming. I say hella. It's like, I mean, this next video is going to be, I imagine it will be at least an hour long. It's already about half an hour and I'm not even close to finishing it. Well, I say not even close. That's all, that's all relative, right? When I sit down to finish this video, it will take me like a month to make.
No, I'm a big believer in you can't rush things that are good. And I've always believed that if you if you just make objectively good content, no one can tell you shit and the content will just do good. That's what I truly believe. Yes, there is a huge element of luck. But even so. Like, my favorite thing is video games. And, mm, like, we're living through the proof of, like, if you rush this shit, it sucks dick. Especially today. Think about Majora's Mask. You've got mail. That game was made in a year. That is, like, that is not feasible. Oh, I should have stopped here. Okay, we'll come back to Pharrellis. Um, thanks, Necro. Like, making a game in a year is already so unfeasible, but they did it with Majora's Mask and made this amazing piece of art. I don't think that's possible from AAA Studios these days because so, so much development time goes into asset creation. Like, oh, we gotta have 4K textures. And, do you know what I mean? Like, f shut the fuck up. Games were better when they were low poly, four by three, two, like, 480p. I'm serious. I'm dead serious. So like, and that's what I believe that. So I know that if I rush my videos, they're gonna suck shit. So even if it means that I have to take a year, I'm taking a year, fuck you, the video's gonna be good and you'll thank me for it. Cause I will not make garbage. Because I see it every day. All my favorite things have turned to dust because they don't get given the time they deserve. Pokemon is dead. And yeah, Zelda, Tears of the Kingdom, uh, sold out billions. It doesn't matter, right? It, uh, Tears of the Kingdom, we already did, the, did that earlier in the stream. Tears of the Kingdom sucked. Um, the new Pokemon game, talk about your steaming pile of shit. Talk about a shitload of fuck. The, and, and the new Pokemon game, the new Pokemon game, oh my God. A game made by the highest earning franchise by a long shot go look it up look up the game freak revenue compared to what is second in franchising right pokemon is so far ahead and they don't even have the m they don't care they don't care about making a good game because if they did it would just be a good game put an s in chat by the way it's silithus but it was the best selling game of all time. The new Pokemon game, are you for real? Everything I loved has become dust. Because they don't get given the time and attention they deserve. So I will not rush my videos. And you can thank, you can thank Nintendo at its core. Isn't that so wild? Nintendo being a dog shit developer is, uh, and publisher is why my videos are good. Because <laughs> I look at all the things I used to love, Pokemon, Zelda, and I'm like, why does it suck? It's not because I grew up. Because I go back and I play Ocarina of Time every month. I love that game so much. Every time I beat Ocarina of Time, I cry. The dialogue in that game is so beautiful, so apt. It's unreal. I can quote you entire fucking excerpts from that game because it's so beautifully written. And the older you get, the better Ocarina of Time becomes. Because you're living through the themes. So sad. <sighs> the flow of time is always cruel. Its speed seems different for each person, but no one can change it. A thing that does not change with time is a memory of younger days. How did they come up with that in a Nintendo game for children?
I have watched the best art of my lifetime become dust at the feet of the shareholders. So I will not rush my arcs and my videos. <laughs> Nah, every time Sheik shows up in Legend of Zelda, I start crying. Because, <laughs> like, everything he says is just like, damn. Who is Sheik? Uh, Sheik is Zelda's uh, male persona. Because, you know, Zelda's uh, gender fluid. Zelda is trans in Ocarina of Time, canonically, by the way. God, what a fucking spectacular game. Link is trans mask, head cannon for tears. I mean, he has no bulge and he has them fucking hips, dude. He's 100% trans mask. No doubt in my mind. Legends Arceus slabs. It was a nice tech demo. I'll give you that. I will I will give you that. It wasn't even terrible. It wasn't great though. Um Arceus was like a step in the right direction, but that's uh, Nintendo is like Nintendo is the king of potential. It's like, you think of a game like Legends Arceus and it's like, damn, if that had like three more years development time, could have been an actual good game. That's just like my opinion, bro. Objectively, objectively. Yeah, Nintendo got to stop making these consoles that are, like, less powerful than my phone. It's really getting old. Especially if they're not even going to... Nintendo always got a pass for having worse hardware because Nintendo had this magic ability where they were... Eight, because of the limitations, they made amazing games, right? But that's not an excuse anymore. Because... I've got a laptop. Mind you, I haven't opened it. I need to do that on one of the streams or I'm on webcam. I'll probably do that tomorrow or something. Um, yeah, by the way, not sponsored, but um, MSI, when Richard scammed me and I made that video, some reps from MSI reached out and they were like, hey, do you have like any computer needs? And I was like, I'm going to be completely honest with you. I just got a new computer, but my laptop is on its last leg. So if you want to send me a laptop, be my guest, but like no pressure. Um, they sent me a new laptop and it's got a 3070 or a 3060 in it. And it's so flat. It's so tiny. And I'm like, dude, Nintendo, you need to like figure it out. How do I have like a 3070 in my laptop, but the Switch runs like shit? It's not an excuse anymore. You know what I mean? Wait, can I use this potion and then just... Oh. I, I'm equipped for every scenario in this game, by the way. 
I'm always stacked with the water walking elixirs. I've always got the invis potions. Oh, this spot's a fatigue spot? Interesting. Now I've got more videos coming. I'm not a streamer. I'm very decidedly not a streamer for now. I would say there was a point where I was a streamer. Um, you know, like when I quit League of Legends, I did a lot of time where I was streaming every day. And then in my off time, I was like learning to just be a better writer and be a better video creator. Oh, and I had to suffer. I fucking suffered for everyone's sins going forward. I quit League of Legends and you would have thought that I killed a kid. The fucking... Like... The reaction I got for me wanting to stop playing League of Legends. It was like I killed someone. And I was like, the whole time I'm just thinking, imagine, I mean like, I, obviously the proof's in the pudding out, like go watch the vids, right? But I was sitting there like, you guys are so beyond stupid. Like I'm about to drop the fucking best videos of all time in like six years, you just gotta give me time to get good. And everyone was like, we want you to play League of Legends and have your blue buff stolen. And I was like, dude, I'm more than that. Also, I can't even do the Kiori voice anymore, you guys. I don't remember how to do it. It's like the penguin voice. I don't remember how to do that voice anymore. I haven't played these characters in so long. <sighs> there is exactly one TBC video. It's the Glaive video. It's, I've written, it's, 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 it, you know, it's, it, it's done, like, it's written. I just have to make it. But it's written. Only Link can defeat Ganon. You benefited from the Maddie times gap? Yeah, I mean, like, it was, dep I was, it was really depressing. I felt really, when I quit League of Legends, and especially now, when people quit League of Legends, everyone's so supportive, like, yeah, yeah, that's great. Can't wait to see what you do next, right? I didn't get any of that. I got, you're a bad person. Don't you care about your fans? And then I had that fucking psycho Sky Williams making videos about me. It was just the most bizarre experience of my fucking life. And all the while I was sitting there, full in the knowledge that, like, Hey, I'm like working really hard behind the scenes to become really good at making these videos. It was horrible, but I stuck through it. And now look. Now don't ask me for anything ever again. <laughs> It's cool. I'm a big fan of getting to say I told you so. And like, I fucking told you so. I've been telling them so. You know what I mean? I'm the blueprint. I'm that bitch. You don't even know. You don't even know. There are things that I could tell you, I have, and I have no proof because it's all gone, but like, ugh. I've talked about it a lot on stream. You know the slowed and reverbed trend? I made that. <laughs> that was me across like 17 YouTube accounts. I had a, I had a channel with over 100,000 subscribers where all I would do is upload slowed and reverbed songs that I liked. All those channels are gone now from copyright, but I, st I started that shit. That was me. Montage parodies? Uh, whose friend group made those? Oh, that's right, me.
there's so much stuff that, you know, like I, I made and I, it's not even about getting the credit, but you know, it's like, I know, you know, I know. I know that shit. Next, you're going to tell me you were the oof sound from Messiah. <laughs> What's that guy's name? Tommy Kalakiko or some shit? That guy sucks. What a hill to die on. No, it's not reverb. It's slowed and reverb. Specifically, 33.3% is what I would usually go for, but sometimes I would go for 23.7. Don't ask why. But those were the two presets that I made for like all these slowed and reverb. And it was all about the aesthetic. It was about looping anime gifts, like 80s and like mostly 80s anime clips. But it was all about that. It was all it was it was the aesthetic because it didn't exist at the time. And it was what I was doing in my free time. And I just wanted a place to put it. I've been the internet blueprint. Even monstrous YouTubers I've influenced. I'm, it's unfortunate to say, but there's no leafy videos without me. I'm really sorry for that one. And Jesus Christ, that guy's, he's off the goop lately. As a prison sentence? Yeah, my bad on that one. Well, it wasn't like directly, but um, Leafy was a big Kiori fan and he copied a lot of, I say copied. It's like, it's so stupid when you say like, oh, this person copied me, right? When it's such a basic thing, like, how do I explain this? There was a period on YouTube where I would do this bit where the punchline was like getting really close to the mic and saying something, you know what I mean? Like, and it's really lame to be like, I invented that. But like, as, a t as like a fucking video tech, I invented that, right? And Leafy was a huge Kiori fan, and so he started doing that in his vids. And then it became the Leafy thing. But that was me. <laughs> Stole my whole flow, bar for bar. I mean, uh, this isn't me saying like, how do I say this? Before Ethan Klein was famous as H3H3, he was in my friend group. We would play Dota every day. And it was like me and Niall who were like, Ethan, you need to stick at this YouTube shit because you're so fucking funny. I'm not trying to say, oh, you know, H3H3 doesn't exist without me. But what I'm saying is like, at the pivotal time when they were starting their content, me and my friend Niall were there, like, you know, gassing them up. Like, you need to keep making this shit because it's so funny. And we would, like, you know, at the time, Niall was really big for the montage parodies and I was really big for the League of Legends. And so we would, like, include Ethan in our videos. You go back in some old Kiori videos and you check the dates. Ethan's in my videos doing bits for me. I would write him, like, a thing, like, hey, do this for me on a green screen. And like, he would do it just as a way to get him in the door, get him out there into the ether of the meme universe. And you know, him and Ela have gone on to do incredible things. And again, I'm not trying to be like, and they owe it all to me. That's not what I'm getting at, right? Cause duh, duh, that's not what I'm saying. But you know what I mean? like. Funny meme. The point, the point that I'm making is I've been behind the scenes in ways you couldn't even imagine. And uh, yeah, it's cool. 
All roads lead to Kiori. <laughs> hey, Mingos, thanks for the sub. Yeah, don't cite the old words to me, witch. I was there when they were written. One of the craziest things that happened to me in like real life, not craziest, but this was the moment that I knew when I was like, oh my God, like I'm actually like in the culture. Me and Janie went to Panera Bread one time and we were waiting at like the window for like the order inside, you know, like, oh, uh, you know where like the pass is where they put the food over, that's what it's called, it's called a pass. Um, we were waiting for our food and we could hear the conversation that the chefs were having and I shit you not, she will get on mic and she will attest to the same thing the people in the kitchen were like saying stuff to each other like 666 snipers is Illuminati and me and Janie were just gobsmacked that there were these people in this kitchen in front of us making our food quoting like our memes and they don't even know we're there <laughs> like It was tight. I need to go to Orgrimmar. Yeah, and then Albert Einstein came out of the fridge and handed me a hundred dollar bill. And even stuff like this is this is you know the angry meme where it's like a dog and it's spelled angry with an e, and that's like where angry comes from. Niall made that image because it was something we used to just say in call, angry. It's just like little things like that. Like there are so many just like little things like that where it's like oh, just a sprinkle of this in like in the culture in the meme culture. Why is my hot bar like, are you seeing this? Like some of these things are blinking. Are you seeing this? Like, look. The game's trying to talk to me. It's my auto hotkey scripts. Do you know what's so funny? People still bother me about Goblin Man Mode for o OSRS and the whole series was filmed, you know what I mean? I could just edit it, but it's like, what's the point? I already made Scarab Lord and it shits on anything Goblin Man could do. And also, if you want an epic series, just go watch, uh, what's that guy called? Um, Sated? Seated? You guys know who I mean, the Morita Mor Moritania. Settled, yeah, yeah, just go watch him. Whoa, even like the text was flickering just then. I haven't finished the Mauritania series. I'm like 18 episodes in. I have been slowly watching it recently, but it's, um, I don't know. There's so much of it. It's tight though, but that's what I mean. Like. When you really think about it, more like um, the ultimate Iron Man hardcore, uh, ultimate Iron Man uh, locked in Mauritania is like the logical conclusion of something like Goblin Man mode, right? So why would I finish Goblin Man mode? It's a waste of my time when something that is essentially the same but better already exists.
was Goblin Man Mode. It was an OSRS series that I started and I made two episodes and then I was going to make the third one as the final one, but then WoW Classic released and well, the rest is history. Any hardcore plans? I would love to play hardcore. I would definitely do a series on it. I just need to finish what I've got and I'm already so behind. Not that I'm stressing, but yeah, I need to finish. I need to finish this video I'm working on and then I need to finish the Glaive video. I really don't know if the Glaive video is gonna be like an hour long. I'm gonna have to pad it. There are things that I wanna talk about in the TBC video, the Glaive video. I do wanna do like a review on the whole of like TBC. But yeah, that video is kind of short when you really think about it. I think it might cap out at half an hour, maybe 45 if I can push it, but I don't know. We'll see, the video will be as long as it is gonna be. <laughs> you got glaives in the bank? No spoilers. Come on, you guys. You will not know the end of that video until you, until it until it drops. That video is going to be so good. You're already in my web as far as the glaives are concerned, yes. You, you, the only people that know the conclusion to that are the people that are in my guild now. Stupid question, possibly. Are you Kiori? Who's that? This would be when I would like whip out the Kiori voice, but I just don't remember how to do it, I'm sorry. Oh my God, it, it sounded a bit like this. I don't know, it's been a long time since I've had to be in character as Kyori. Was that Michael Caine? Kiori is just Bizarro Realm Grow Score. Ooh, right on time. Oh, I just remembered. There's another, there's a video that I wanna make for WoW because I've got so much footage banked for it, but I'm not gonna be able to potentially complete it until October. Just the filming. And that would be three years in the making. Hmm. Damn, I kind of want to do the Kiori voice now. It's a shame I forgot how to do it. I was trying to do the penguin voice the other day too and I just can't do it. I just don't remember how to fucking do it. Yes, I'm planning on getting two gut goal rippers from Anixia. They're already going straight to me. Because th here's the thing. Why didn't they make that fucking weapon bis for this phase? It's so stupid. They could have just made it like a good weapon, but it just sucks. Is 
even the fastest way to go? Yeah, I've told my guild that I want to get Double Gut Gold Ripper and then just not take any weapons for the rest of the expansion and play with those shitty weapons, but they said they'd G-kick me, but I'm just going to do it anyway. Especially for our first Lich King kill. Like, I'm going to do it for our first Lich King kill. Like, no shot I'm not. It's all led to this, you know? Like... Because I'm a worldwide all-star and you're all fucking cringe. I wish I had as much control over my voice up here as I do down here. It would be so much, it would be so cool. No, ICC's not out. They only just dropped TOGC like this week. Which by the way, already done. Arbor Natural League. Where is this shit? I don't even know where the shit is. Anyway, I've done it. ICC in October? What month is that? June? July, August, September. Yeah, I'd say. Hmm. No, I mean, we had. O How many months did we have Old War for? It was far too fucking long. Yeah, we beat TOGC in like less than two hours. It was pretty underwhelming. I was actually. We one shot. <coughs> Excuse me. The only boss I thought that we would have trouble with was the PvP boss, and we beat it one shot. On hardcore. First pull. And it was uh, a noob. A noobarak was the one that we wiped the most to. I think we wiped like nine times to that boss. God, I fucking love being a rogue. Just the micro, the micro conveniences. I don't fuck with macro conveniences. You mage players, psh, bitches. You paladin players, you bitches. What'd she say fuck me for? Where am I headed right now? Uh, Stormwind. Just doing a little vibe. Listen to this. Yeah, we one shot beasts, we one shot um, the PvP one, and then we didn't one shot the twins, but we had like a fucked up pull and we got it on the second pull. So I don't know if I'm counting that. It was technically a wipe, but it was one of those situations where it was like, I don't know, it didn't count in my head as a wipe. What the fuck? Mm. 
No shot. No shot. My stealth didn't work? Okay. And that guy... That... No. Why? How is this line of sight? Oh, you're there. Okay. As long as I die here, this is fine. This is a good spot to die in. Oh, I just needed one more tick and I would have lived and stealthed. Oh, I forgot about Draxus. Yeah, we one-shot that guy too. I think I died on pull on Draxus though. Something fucked up happened. Oh no, I didn't die on Draxus. I died on twins. Pretty much like on pull. Um, I think it was that the orbs didn't get soaked properly and I just got fucking boned. You guys remember that guy who G-checked me for a hoon? I'm still stunned. That's wild. What is my gear score? My gear score is the highest in my guild, by the way. Unreal. <clears throat> and you already have a 258 dagger? Yeah. Boom. Stygian. It's plus 28 DPS up from Blade Twister, which is in here. Say the words and grab the mic. How many seconds into phase three did you have to wait to get Jeeves? Um, I built that shit. He's right here. I built that shit as soon as I logged on. I just had that stuff sitting in my bank. Apart from the gems. But then I bought the gems for tokens. Your combat suit getting axes? Yeah, combat's cringe. <sighs> also, people are saying that combat is going to out DPS assassination in TOGC and I just don't know how that's possible because like all the fights are single target apart from like you can you can cleave twins and you can kind of cleave PvP but the rogues and in, in the PvP fight at least for like the first four weeks the rogues have to stun rotation um the healers so we don't really get to like pass so I don't know like Assassination is cringe. The rotation is lame. Nah, the rotation is so fucking clean. It's one of the nicest rotations in the game. I mean that. The combat rotation is cringe. And you know why? Because Blade, uh, Slice and Dice doesn't reset on... Uh, if, if, if Slice and Dice reset on Rupture, combat suddenly becomes really fun. But it doesn't. So it sucks. Can never be too careful. I'm gonna 
drowned people in this in this part specifically. Actually, no, it was this part. Didn't realize you were on grob. How? Man, my clout's worthless these days. <laughs> no, but it's not just pressing mutilate and envenom. That's how I know you're a noob. You can also faint. Uh, yeah, bitch. You press faint in between in uh, mutilate casts after Envenom. Didn't that get patched? No, of course not. It's a hidden interaction because it doesn't tell you in the tooltip that it applies uh, poisons, but it is still very much in the game. And also you should just press that button anyway. Storm and fire is outside the stockade. Oh, oh, so I could have just, oh, it's right here. Oh, so what's this here? Oh, I see, I see. Oh, I was walking to the park. Oh, how annoying. And I walked the wrong way also because I don't know where the fuck I'm going. I don't come to Stormwind. I'm a noob, I'm a noob. Patch notes said so. I'm gonna have to take a little look. That seems really stupid. Why would they do that? What a stupid thing to take away. That's how you know Blizzard are, uh, they just don't want you to have fun. I'll never understand when game developers make just anti-fun decisions for no reason. It just seems really strange to do that. Don't hit me. Thanks. Oh, you bitch. Damn, there's two of them. Okay, well, that's fine. Let me think about this. It would be faster to spirit res because I actually don't need the stats. But then walking into Stormwind, no, yeah, well, this is faster. And this hands in for 20, right? 25. Guys, we actually might get enough. 25 plus 25, 50, and then five. As long as I can pick up one more flame from anywhere on the map. As long as there's one more somewhere. I think I've picked them all up there. Wait, there's gotta be one, and there's gotta be one somewhere here that I didn't pick up this year. Oh man. Imagine if I am five tokens off. I'm gonna message a GM <laughs> if that happens. <gasps> you know what I didn't do? Outland. Ah, oh, there's everywhere. Okay, yeah, we've got enough. We can, we can do enough. GM, gear score? Oh my god, I was playing Dota. I've been playing Dota because I wanted to, you know, just like play ranked. I like Dota, I like playing Dota. Does anyone in chat play Dota? Because I'm not going to tell this story unless there's Dota players in chat, because otherwise it's just meaningless. Yes, okay, so picture this. It's 2019 and I'm trying to get back into Dota, but every time I queue up, I queue into people who are like toxic and feeding and raging and I don't care about the game whatsoever. So I, I just, you know, I just I quit the game, right? And I just go play something else. I did that. Hmm. 
I did that to the point where my behavior score fell to 7,000, right? It was about 7,400. Fast forward three years, three, four years later. Now I actually want to play Dota and I'm sticking with it. And um, I'm just playing. And then I get into this one game at one point. And I see this person on the enemy team who I just played against, who is, uh, you know, obviously a smurf. And they pick Broodmother and they're just fucking smurfing in Pislo. So I target ban Broodmother because of course I do. Only the, you know how like when you tab out of Dota and tab back in, it like for a split second, it freezes and it shows you something else. Like it will show you a screenshot from a game that you were in like three hours ago. I play five and four, by the way. I picked Broodmother five and I got reported by every single person in the game and admittedly, you know, deserved whatever. Would you hazard a guess as to what my behavior score was after that game from 7,400? Five K, six thousand nine hundred, three thousand eight hundred. It was three thousand one hundred from that one game. And ever since then, my game quality has been so fucking bad, right? So unfathomably despicable. And like, I'm not even like a fucking like. People will like in in my games drop items for the enemies put like ward camps, do all this like troll shit, right? And I'll sit there and I'm playing like honestly and I don't even have my mic. Uh, no, that's a lie. I do have my mic bound. I don't have um, chatting bound though. I'll open Dota in a sec to prove this to you, right? And I was like, it's no problem. I'll just climb up, right? So I'm climbing and my behavior score maybe goes up a little bit, but then it keeps dropping to sub 3000. And when you're in sub 3000, you are not even allowed to ping or type in the game. Anyway, I spent the last six months trying to get my behavior score and the closest I could get to 10K was 4.5K, which was last week. And then I got a four hour ban. And I, I say this with complete honesty. And if there's any Dota admins, you are so welcome to go on my account and check this. I don't rage, I don't troll, I don't AFK, I don't do any of this shit. My behavior score from that one game, this it wasn't this one game, but like it gives you like an update every 15 games, right? I was at 4.5K. My behavior score dropped to 2.9 and I got a four hour ban for MMR abuse. Do you wanna know why? Because my MMR is so high, I'm playing in Ancient, but my rank is Archon. So anytime I get in a game, everyone can see I'm an Archon player and everyone else is Ancient or Legend. And I get, rep if I win, because by the way, I play a very aggressive like five um, early game because like I'm, I'm a greedy player, right? So like I'll pick Lich, I'm rushing, uh, I'm rushing Ag Shard and I'm gonna 1v1 everyone on the map with my Ag Shard for about 15 minutes. Or I play Witch Doctor, right? So I'll be like 10-0 in these games and I'll get reported for smurfing because I'm an Archon player in Ancient fucking dinking on these idiots. So I got a uh, four hour ban for MMR abuse and then I had to play a low priority game. And yeah, now my, uh, like I've been trying to climb. I've been trying to climb for te like for, s yeah, about seven months. I've been trying to get my behavior score. I don't type, I don't troll, I don't leave, I don't abandon, I don't do anything. But I consistently get reported for smurfing. And I'm never gonna climb out. So I was like, fine, I'll do 100 turbo games. My turbo games are just the same as my ranked games. People troll them and I get reported for smurfing. My behavior score went down 100 from 2,800 to 2,700. I can't even communicate anymore. I've had my chat, not that I have chat bound anyway, but I can't even ping. I can't draw arrows on the map. I can't do anything. And still my behavior score gets lowered. And all I'm doing is just queuing up for turbo and playing the game. It's like so unfathomable. So 
So yeah, um, it sucks. <laughs> Tried contacting support. Yeah, nice joke. Nice joke. Yeah, once you're in bad behavior school, I'm convinced that you can't get out. I don't think it's possible. Because like, it's just crazy. My behavior reports will come in and they'll be like, uh, 25 commendations in the last 15 games, eight reports for MMR abuse. You have been banned. I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> no. Like, all my teammates love me, and the enemies hate me because they think I'm smurfing, but I'm not, you're just bad. Should have sprinted. I know, I thought I had like 20 more seconds though. Like, really? Yeah, so I haven't played Dota because it, I just, it's really bothered me. Why doesn't it match you with higher MMR players? No, but that's the thing. It's because I'm matched with higher MMR players. Because, okay, so let me put it in league terms for you. My rank is visibly silver to everyone I'm playing with. But I am consistently playing with platinum and diamond players. So if I do really well in a game, I get reported for smurfing. If I do really bad in a game, I get reported for buying my account. I went 10 wins in a row in ranked, and then my next behavior card, I lost points for MMR abuse. And it's like, dude, I can't win. Good night, spider plays. People will just report you because they're miserable. It's exactly what happens, dude. I just get like rage reported for being good. And like, what do you want me to do? pretend that I'm not as good, like, not take, not get kills that I can just take. It's just horrible. Yeah, I played 15 games of Turbo, and then my next report card, I went down 100 behavior score. And, like, I just didn't even know what to do at that point. I was like, I can't even type. Like, I can't even... It's Turbo. The games take 15 minutes. Like, what the fuck? Why am I being reported? Who's mad? Where is the, where is the, f oh, okay, it didn't load in. Maybe try and intentionally not perform your best. Yeah, but like, what's the point in playing the game? You know what I mean? I'm, I, I was playing because I wanted to see what my peak rank could be. Because the last time I was really on a ranked grind in Dota, I got to, it was either Legend or Ancient, I don't remember which, but um, I quit because I was bored. I wasn't, I didn't quit because I had peaked, I quit because I was bored. And so I was like, oh, I wonder how high I can get, but it's just like, dude. <clears throat> And I'm like, <clears throat> I recently I've been playing a lot of Venomancer because he's just busted in Pislo, I think, because um, because of the changes they made where he's now a neutral champion. Uh, his attack speed in the early games is just so ridiculous. Uh, and then also you hit like level four and you can just you can just take camps. And so that's what I would do. And I have a sneak suspicion uh, because, you know, I'm like playing in Pislo, right? So like these carries don't take gold that's on the map. 
So I will take gold that's on the map as position five or position four. And then at 20 minutes, I've got three items and I'm fucking dominating the game. Wait, that's the wrong thing. I wanted this. Um, and I have a sneak suspicion that like bad players are, are reporting me for quote unquote trolling because they don't understand, they're not on the level that I'm on. Like they don't understand uh, like gold income. You know what I mean? Like camps are up, I take it. If you're not taking it, I'm taking it. And then they're like, why are you not in lane? I'm like, you're an idiot. Like you're getting solo XP safely and you're farming and I'm farming. This is a win-win for everyone. But like, I don't have chat bound, so I don't type to them. It's like the other, the other I saw a game the other day. Uh, my off lane, I don't remember who it was, but my off laner was dropping items before using arcane boots, you know? Uh, really basic strat. And the four picked up his items and said, fuck this noob dog, he drop items, wants to troll. And I was like, you can't be serious. Like, you can't be serious. Like, these people are so bad, they don't even know they're bad. Like, they don't know good plays when they see it because they're so bad. Where'd the accent come from? Because that's what they sound like. Have you seen anything that's almost made you briefly bind chat to flame someone? I almost wanted to flame someone in that game, right? When, because what happened was, it was, oh my God, I remember who, it was, um, I don't remember who the three was. I think it was Nightstalker, but the four was Nick's assassin. And the Nick's assassin picked up the three's items and he kept saying on mic, fucking report this noob, he drop items, he wants, he wants to give enemy items. And like, dude, how do you even begin to tell someone who doesn't understand the game? Do you know what I mean? Like, how do you explain to them? No, dude, this is an advanced mechanic that you don't understand because you're a noob. Like, in the heat of the game, you know what I mean? I'm not gonna fucking get on mic and be like, hey dude, if you drop all your items and then use arcane boots, you restore more mana. This is your fucking UQ with this troll? They're not on that level, so they don't understand, you know what I mean? I had a game, I was playing Venomancer 5, and I was with a PA. And I was stacking the jungle for PA whilst also taking the easy camps that I had stacked, right? The PA is sitting on like, it's like 12 minutes. She's about to get Battle Fury. And she's like, no, why are you not in lane? I need your help. I'm like, you. And obviously I didn't type this, but I'm like, you don't need help. Like you're farming safely. No one is able to kill you. And I'm also in the jungle stacking your camp so you get more money. And then I'm taking camp so I can get more money. So unreal. It's odd to me that a four hour auto ban happens after a certain amount of reports, yeah. If you get like, if you get reported by like every single person on your team, you're getting put in low priority, like frame perfect. Uh, no, but I could go. I don't want to make group, to be honest. Oh, my neck hurts. Are you doing 
Okay, that should be enough. Oh, I could save my hearthstone. Wait, I should just stay here because a hoon. Where do you kill a hoon? You kill him in steam vaults, right? Or slave pens? Ah, that's one of the two. This is a level 78. It's a holiday boss. I don't care. I pump. I pump single target. I'll make up for the lack. Damn, I used to like hella sap people and just leave them to like drown when raiding, when coming through that tunnel. Said the one going into raid without food buff and low eye level. Don't think I've forgotten. Who are you talking about? I know you're not talking about me. Oh, wait. I don't think I need to even stealth. This is level 70 content. Me? Are you dumb? I have food buff in, uh, hello? I've got three food buffs, actually. I promise some of you are way cuter with your mouths closed. Look, mom, I'm pumping has become a meme in your guild because of the video. That's my little lich voice. Another Dota ref. I've had people tweet me like, uh, hey, what's that lich voice line from? I've never heard that. And I'm like, dude, that's just me. <laughs> it's not lich. It's not a voice line from Dota. And now we wait. Yeah, Femboy Obama is quite a funny name. World of Rat. Rat? Wow. 
top 10 video voice? Was that you doing the voice? No. But funnily enough, when I wrote the script, it was just going to be me, you know, being like... Number two, every day, beyond the peon wakes up at the crack of dawn to make his daily pilgrimage to Silithus from Durotar. Um, but then I was like, wait, I'm just going to ask Chills to do it for me. <laughs> so he just did it for me. Did I grab the quest? Fuck. Can you share quest? It's at the start of the dungeon. Oh, you think I'm gonna walk backwards? I just gotta walk backwards. Well, that's the backup. Whoa, I think it's outside anyway. Number 15, Burger King foot lettuce. The last thing you'd want in your Burger King burger is somebody's foot fungus. But as it turns out, it might be what you get. A 4 channer uploaded the image anonymously to the site, showcasing his feed in a plastic bin of lettuce. I love that shit. With the statement, this is the lettuce you eat at Burger King. What's the next bit? He's like, it's something like, uh, something, something, shoes on. But that's even worse. Honestly, blah, 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 blah. But that's even worse. Be right back. Okay. Wait, the lady inside has the quest? Oh, I don't, I don't know. I, I feel like I've already done the quest. Don't I just have to get the kill? Okay. Oh, it was on heroic. That's why we couldn't see the quest. Honestly, I didn't mean to set the dungeon to heroic, but I'm not the leader of the party. This song's so good. Oh, it's a quest per summon. I see, I see, I see. So, 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 so. <laughs> Is it this bitch? Wait, so it's this one? Why can't I pick it up? Does it carry over from TBC? Okay. the slave that's so fucked up oh she has the quest i see i see i see i see okay yeah wait what the fuck is this dude i'm trying to eat food I can't do that while moving boop ba boop ba boop ba boop Hey. 
Wait, whom's is tank? <laughs> this bitch. happening is it ads first oh i see you don't just fucking pump him i did like 11 percent in like three seconds Do, the, do I hit the fucking boss yet? What's going on? Ow. Oh, I need to keep my buff up. Can I hit this guy yet? Oh, no, no, no. Aya. Get full of snow. What does this do? Got oh, some snowballs. Oh, so now you hit it. Okay. Lust. Okay, do you have to reset or does it just come back up? Oh, nice. Ah, why am I getting kicked? Oh, I'm slipping. I see, I see. I have this guy's uh, scythe on my uh, on vile plume. This game sucks. Why can't you have like every class on one race, on one character? What's the point of farming this guy? Uh, I guess he drops pets. 
I'm just doing it because it's, you know, it would, would be BM for me to just leave. Dude, I took the scythe in TBC. Do you guys remember this? I was streaming. I got the scythe in TBC um, on Vileplume. And it wasn't an upgrade because, it, of course, it's not an upgrade because it's never an upgrade. It's just a fucking item that you, you know, it's a transmog. It's just a meme item. And there was like a, a level like 68 or something in the, in the group who was like, wow, your weapons are better than that and you needed it. And everyone else was like, it's a transmog item, dude. And I remember just like, What a yoke. Oh, when was this core open, by the way? Ah. Look again. Hi. Hoon's level is a item level two three eight. Yeah, but this is back in TVC. I'm not talking about T. I'm not talking about Wrath. I'm talking about TBC. What brings you here? Oh. Wait. Take the red one. Wait, I picked the blue one. No. What the fuck? I don't care. I'm never changing this tabard, right? I took the blue pill. <laughs> I want to wake up in my bed and forget everything. I mean, I really don't care because I was not going to wear the tabard regardless. I just wanted to pick the red one. You reset the stream? That was so that I could eventually talk shit on how fucking awful that game was to play. Do you know the kind of- You know when I started like crying midstream from laughter? It was because I was thinking about like... The nerve. The nerve to be like... Play two hours of this game. And then like the first two hours of the game just being so void of anything like what the fuck do you want me to do you know what i mean like what am i supposed to do about this your last upload was half a year ago uh it was like a year ago i think your math is wrong It was like when I took a sponsored deal for um, Clash of Clans and they were like, we want you to stream for two hours. That's usually the standard, right? They want you to stream for two hours. But the thing with Clash of Clans is there's only like 45 minutes of content before you have to pay to do anything else, right? I was literally locked out of playing the game for two days. It was like one of those like, oh, come back in 48 hours. And it's like, huh? I've got to play this game for two hours. And there's only 45 minutes of content before I'm out. Did you guys not think this? Do you know what I mean? It's one of those things where it's like, you are the one who is hiring me. So shouldn't you know, like, how much content there is for me to play? That's how I felt playing Black Desert Online just then. How much did they pay you? Irrelevant. Doesn't matter.
thank God you could spectate. Do you know what I did for like the rest of those streams, the Clash of Clans streams? I was just getting fucking people that played the game in chat to like let me watch their replays because I had nothing else to do on the game. You miss Black Desert Online? Well, hey, you can click the link below if you want to download it now, but I promise you the game is not how you remember it. <laughs> it's so good. You should check it out. Make sure you start in the new starting zone, too. It's the third option. You'll thank me later. I'm hungry. <gasps> I can order Bulgogi. Once I'm done with this, um... Once I'm done with this bitch, this boss, I'm gonna turn off the stream, order bulgogi, eat bulgogi, and then watch Breaking Bad and fall asleep. And I'm gonna try to not relapse on my sobriety. Because man, that stream earlier really had me wanting to pick up the blunt. I don't smoke weed anymore for you guys, by the way. Because I didn't, this cloak again, I don't want to be not, um, whenever I would smoke weed during stream, I would get a lot more quiet and a lot less funny. And I started becoming super aware of it. It's fine to smoke weed when you're like editing and you're not having to do like voice lines and stuff, but like on stream, nah, can't be doing that. Ugh, I gotta reset. What weed are you smoking that had you quiet? Uh, like literally any weed ever. Like it's a downer. You're ob you're objectively gonna be less energetic and like funny and all that kind of stuff if you're smoking weed every day, which I was. Listen, you can you can come at me with that stoner copium, dude. I've been smoking weed every day for like the last seven years. Trust me, I think I know. Okay, and I'm done with that because I saw how it was affecting my streams. Do you have a hard time getting off it? No, I just decided that I'm not gonna do it anymore. At least like while I'm working, I might occasionally do it before bed or whatever. Like I'm not giving it up 100%, but it was like, you know, I'm not gonna be sitting here smoking weed all day, every day, which is like what I was doing for a very long time. <laughs> yeah. You talk to a weed person about weed and you're like, yeah, I'm giving it up. They're like, oh, bro, just try a different strain, bro. Dude, shut the fuck up, you bitch. <laughs> Especially because I vape, I vape it, um, which is like, vaping it irritates the micro hairs in your throat which means that you feel like you want to clear your throat often even if there's nothing to clear your throat for like there's no phlegm in your throat but you're still like <clears throat> you're still like coughing right i didn't want to be doing that anymore it was irritating I reckon this mage is gonna finesse us. I mean, I turned all my leftover weed into butter and I was having that on toast. I had that on toast like the other day, but I don't think I put nearly enough on the toast because I, I really didn't feel anything the whole day. 
It wasn't like one of those situations where it's like, this edible ain't shit, and then you get stoned. It was like, this edible ain't shit. This edible really ain't shit. Your brother got a machine to make hand butter? Your brother's a moron. You don't need a machine. You just need a saucepan and then like a, like a glass measuring, you know, like, uh, what do they call it? Like a jug. <laughs> you need a machine. That's funny. You literally take, and the rule is like 110-ish grams of butter for every two grams of weed. You, um, fuck, what's the word? You, you know when you heat butter, what's that called? I can't remember the, the actual term. Clarify. You clarify the butter for about half an hour, and then you just turn it down to a simmer, and you add, um, your weed to the butter, and then you just simmer that for three hours. Pour it through some cheesecloth and bam, leave that in the fridge. It's literally that easy. Does the weed need to be activated in the oven first? No, that's a myth. You don't have to do that part. It makes no difference. You don't need to decarb it if you're putting it in 87 degrees Celsius butter. You're decarbing it through the process. Oh, I should loot this, huh? I have summoned the first one. This guy's a liar, right? I'm literally, I, I'm literally streaming. No, this dude, a rat, we're done here. What does he mean by the first one? We have one more boss summon, but if this guy's already done his boss summon today, um, then he lied. And I don't remember seeing him do the first one. I'm pretty sure it was the paladin. Didn't know you could do it five times. Well, this is the, this is like the alternate. In retail, it's different because you just queue up, right? Don't make me rewind the VOD. <laughs> I'm the last rogue on the server you want on your bad side, I promise you that. I mean, I, I truly don't care either way. But...
you know, rats will be rats. Squeak, squeak, world of rat. Damn, those snowballs are huge. Off you pop, Pablo. Didn't you do the same thing for Hallow's End? Yeah, but I do it for content. There's a difference. There's a difference between me doing it uh, for the enjoyment of millions around the world, full knowing I'm being a shitter. There's a difference. Tell me I'm wrong. For what I have, the first one, lol, did you all see? My dude, I just checked the footage. Don't lie, just hand in. I'm the wrong one, I promise you. Try getting a new fifth? No, because then that fifth doesn't get to have four, like four other summons. My pleasure. Hey Pablo, I'd recommend a server transfer. It sounds really sad, but like, I know all the people that run the GDKPs on this server. Like, no one's gonna want you in a GDKP if you're a rat. Just, just, uh, just to remind myself. Getting this mad when you've done it yourself. I'm not even mad. I don't care. It's nothing. Do you know what I mean? This that's like five seconds to me. I just put this in the fucking I just send this to the GDK people. Hey, if you ever see this guy, just don't invite him. He gets put on the blacklist. People have these fucking people have these uh add-ons. It's no sweat. And the fact that I'm a hypocrite makes it funnier. You sound and acting mad. There is nothing from this boss that I want. Nothing at all. It's purely content. I'm Twitch acting, you stupid fucks. Maybe I, sh I should get the bulgogi now. I should order it now. And then by the time we're done here, it should be at my door. I say at my door, it won't be at my door. You sound like someone doesn't know the WoW community. Uh, you sound like someone who doesn't play on Grobulus and is a stupid bitch and doesn't know how things run here. Grobulus is not World of Warcraft, just so you know. Grobulus is, a very, is very much a reputation server. Sorry, not you. Oh, my bad. You're still a bitch, though. You know, everyone's guilty. <laughs> Bulgogi. It was Rectum Fairy. What?
Oh, it's all pre-order. Wait, why is there no, let me have a look at this. Korea. Bulgogi is so good. Koreans were on some shit when they were like, hey, get some apples and some pears, make it into a sauce. I'm definitely like 50-50, I bugged his turn in. Lol. Are you doing the holiday Ahoon lol, boss? Ahoon lol? Where did the lol come from? Who's Sarah's? No, sorry. Do you have to do quest first to summon? Yeah, this thing is the thing. Well, she gives you the quest and then this gives you the quest. You can't possible be soloing it, okay? I just did. See, I just, I can't help myself. I just love trolling. We just do a little trolling. I'm addicted to trolling. Lying is like the funniest thing you can do. You know, white lies that don't matter. I don't mean real lies. Need the staff? Need heals? No, I just soloed it for achieve only, thanks. And I mean, if I'm ordering food now, I may as well also order something for when I wake up, right? Like, that's always the strat. Ooh, what if I got a katsu curry for now and then a bulgogi for tomorrow? Do any ugly boys in chat want to donate me $20 for my lunch? Ooh. -woo. What drink should I get? Ooh, watermelon soda. I've been really good. I gave up. I've been, I haven't had an energy drink in a really long time. I love that watermelon soda. I could have that tomorrow. And then it rounds it up. Yeah, let's do that. Why not cook something instead? Um, I actually need to do my grocery shopping. I've eaten through most of my food and my HelloFresh. I cook like every day. And I got the soda. Do you know he doesn't even say, and I got the soda. He says, and I got this sewed up. Isn't that fucked up? And I got the soda. We need another heal. Oh. 
Wanna know how I got these scars? <laughs> no? I'm the Joker, baby! <laughs> I got you. Hey, thanks. Is it Kahe? Thanks very much. It was mostly a joke, but hey, thanks for lunch. Check out this, check out this. You won 1k yesterday? Damn, are you a little gambler? Or was it like a, a strategic win, a methodical win? Maybe. What's your game? Craps? Poker? Roulette? Or are you a kind of, are you a, are you a slots? You got a max win on Sugar Rush? I hate that I know the exact slot as well. I don't gamble, by the way. Um, but I, I have watched my friends gamble. Hey, congrats on your max win. Please, please, please stop gambling. <laughs> I don't want to know if you're up. I don't want to know if you're down. Just... Quit, quit now, and y you will, um, yeah, you'll, you'll be in the money. You're up? Quit now, quit now. See, this is what, here's the thing. I, first time I ever went to a casino, I played roulette, and I went 400 up, and then I just never gambled ever again, and I've just won, you know what I mean? Like, I'm up. Get fucked. I beat the system. He, that paladin? Paladin. Real? Okay. You play gacha games, dude. You gotta have like some kind of brain damage to play gacha and spend money on it. Like, uh, you guys are born suckers. It's not your fault. You know what I mean? It's not your fault. Gacha games are cancer. But hey, if they pay me to play <laughs> on stream, I'm gonna play that shit, dude. But uh, that's my stance. That they are uh, objectively bad. All the time. I truly don't know how you can even play gacha games without just being pissed off like the whole time that you're playing it. Because like, how do you not just get over like, oh, this game exists to squeeze money and not have fun. Like the games are designed for you to not have fun. They're designed for you to want to spend money to potentially have fun. That shit sucks. How about you just fucking pay for a game and have fun? You know what I mean? Like normal people. If Black Desert Online plays you again for another two hours, I will not lie to you, I will pass on that one probably. Actually, no, I probably wouldn't, but that was a rough two hours, dude. Not the worst, but that was rough.
I gotta keep it real. I just wanna log off. Bringing a summon? No, I wanna go. <laughs> Oh yeah, it's been hella warm in the UK. Like I'm sleeping with like no nothing, like no not even like a sheet. I'm just straight up like sleeping on my mattress. Obviously, there's like a sheet on the mattress, but you know what I mean. Yeah, I'm taking my skin off. I'm flaying my skin. Yike. <laughs> That's hot. I don't trust like that. It's a whole thing. Much love though, thanks for playing. I already have this crown. It's already in my bank. I have two in the bank. Oh wait, no. Okay, that's for Falcon. Okay. <gasps> I miscounted. Why are the boots two hundred? You've got mail. Uh, I need 55 more. <sighs> How many do you get per daily? Oh, I've got like a week left. Oh, this is fine. That's just dailies. Yeah, I'll just do dailies. It's fine. And I also still have like all of Outland that I can just farm. It's like what? You get five for doing one of your own and 10 for dismantling. I could honestly go do that. Oh, but my food's on the way and I wanna go. I've been streaming for like seven hours. Oh, hey, Frywood. I'm done. Okay, it's been a pleasure to stream for you. Thank you all for your generosity and for being so cool as always. Love streaming for you guys. Sorry that I don't do it as much as I could. Um, yeah. I'll see you again for another stream. I am contractually obliged to do one more stream wherein I disclose my HelloFresh uh, concoctions, you know? Which is great because like, uh, this isn't sponsored right now. And I say to you unironically, getting a sponsorship from HelloFresh is like so 